Like, he really was. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the hub above. He's got the hub above a max on. <laughs> oh, he, like, no. he, like, eats more pieces. Bro, and the thing more. is, the thing is with Juicy Fruit is, like, it's just, like, super, like, strong smelling. Because I have some right now my cousin bought somebody handed it to me. <laughs> so now I, I have it. It's very strong smelling. It's like, you want some gum? You like, huh? I like the icebreakers, but it, it was before they started to cost like five dollars. <laughs> what? A pack. I don't even know how much juicy fruit is. Oh, I don't remember. He bought it. Why is the gum like, expensive? This stuff. It shouldn't be expensive. It's gum, but like... <laughs> Anyways, you know what I really liked to do when I was little? Those little like, you know the Listerine things that you would put on your, your tongue? It'll dissolve. Oh, the strips? Yeah, the strips. I like oh, to- Oh, yeah! I like to eat them and drink water. <laughs> Insane. I don't know. I thought it was very, uh, refreshing. Like, with cold water. Mm. They give you the, the, like- This guy's like... talking about gum, and It's a free country, bro. Come on. <laughs> I, didn't this? Wanna... <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> He's like, oh, it's my stream? It's my turn now? <laughs> I just start talking about go. It doesn't matter. It's brought up. It's all good. G was. All them. Take the, take the table. Take the mic. <clears throat> hey guys, it's me. Your boy, Jeremy. <laughs> and we're back with another episode of The Greatest Attorney. I think it's Re Resolve. I don't remember. And we're doing something. I can't remember also. Um, but here we are. Here we are, and we're we're gonna we're gonna get this we're gonna get this bag, as the kids like to say. Now here we go. <laughs> I hate myself. Twenty fourth October, eleven fifty three a.m. The old Bailey defense eighty chamber. Oh shit! Speaking of shelves with his uh, juicy fruit bubble gum. I got scared. He's just loudly you. chewing gum right now. <laughs> I got scared. <laughs> White man jump scare again. <gasps> You're right. I didn't know white people lived here. Uh, <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> All right. Um, I swear I'm awake. Takes a long sip. Hold on. Oh my god. Oh! The French himself. Oh, have you been watching from the gallery, Mr. Sholmes? Almost let my impulsive thoughts take me. Oh, gee whiz. I've been on the edge of my seat the entire time. Bears. As a spectator, at least. Did you skip that whole first sentence? Oh. Okay, oh, I wasn't listening. I, 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 think, you, I think you cut out. <laughs> maybe, maybe I, I cut out, but I had a pipe in his mouth so he couldn't hear it. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah oh. true, true. Oh, 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 oh. I'm glad. She... <laughs> I'm glad you've been enjoying yourself. I feel like Mr. Shulbs, please speak oh, up. Oh, this guy. <laughs> oh. Oh, of course. Our favorite elephant isn't our favorite little defendant, huh? I hate this guy. <laughs> Bring back my gilded robe. I'd rather, rather, rather have him. You serve zero purpose. <laughs> my gilded six feet in the ground, bro. I'm about to bring him back. I'm about to, I'm about to bring him back. Let's see, Cosmo came back. <laughs> Well, can you imagine if it was McGilded who was Ferox and Friends? I'd turn the game off. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, end, I'd end stream on the spot, bro. You're like, I'm done! I'm done. not doing that, I'm not doing that. Can't you can a girl dream, huh? Come on. Mm. I, I have to ask. What did he sound like? <laughs> bro, come on! What on earth is going on? It makes no sense. What's this professor business all about? Oh yeah. He doesn't look like any professor I've ever seen before. Who even is he? You look uh, kind of professional. Of course. Right? You were in Germany already ten years ago. 
Yes, the professor. When I discovered he was the one who had been abducted, a sense of foreboding stirred within me. But who knew the monster would come knocking at your door? My heart felt sympathies. <laughs> Jesus, is it my con whose controller is like rumbling very hard? Rumbling? <laughs> that was really hard. <laughs> I don't have hard. anything to get against the desk. Well, yeah, I'm holding yeah. mine, so. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm holding mine with one hand because yeah. I mean, I'm not playing a game. I'm. I don't hear any rumbling. I don't hear any rumbling either. I'm just hearing things. Yeah. Delusional. Delusional. Delulu. <laughs> As it turns out, Lord Venzig is even more intimately tied, intimately tied to this case than any of us realized, isn't he? Intimately! Susanna, <laughs> hi! <laughs> yes, Hello. how true. His great friend from university in the dark. Lamal. And now the waxwork of a killer who took his esteemed brother's life. Lamal. Make an appearance to. Yeah. I imagine even. <laughs> The shrewd Mr. Reaper failed to foresee the kick in the teeth. Oh, that could be. And then, and then there's me bringing up every chance I can get. Slutty, slutty. <laughs> Extraordinary move on my part, my dear fellow, to throw that in front of the man. You make it sound uh... deliberate. It was deliberate. <laughs> I, did that, I did that on purpose. The roomies, Rinosuke, and Canon Rinosuke are like completely different people. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing they got that's similar is when they scream, but other than that, not... <laughs> that's <laughs> it, bro. <laughs> oh. I love my AU, bro. <laughs> wow, yeah. <laughs> For no reason, nobody likes him. That's what makes it funny! I hate this guy. <laughs> What's wrong with him? I can't help feeling... That this professor case is really very puzzling. Oh yes? In what particular manner? Well, there's Mr. Drebber, Dr. Seath, and Lord Van Seeks. It seems that everyone in the trial has a link to the case somehow. Oh, is it true? Yes. In fact, I alone am not a member of the set. Okay. Shut I up. suppose I asked. I suppose I asked. <laughs> Though, that leaves me as an empty set, all alone with no intersection to any other. Deserve. I'm sorry. Excuse me? Who's depressed? Oh! Oh! <gasps> girl, what? Oh, my. oh, oh hey, girl! But also, <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's <good>. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you do that? <laughs> how, how you doing? Get in line, oh, pal. Mean... Get in line. <clears throat> Come on. Doctor Sight. Hey. Ooh. Ah, Doctor Courtney Seath. Oh God, what did the government say? name her? Oh, they he said her um N word. I made a name. <laughs> no, he's saying her maiden name. <laughs> <laughs> it's good day to you. Hello, Sholmes. That was very shrewd of you. Well, in particular, in the courtroom. Pray. You requested that ten-year-old autopsy report from Grexit, didn't you? Why would you assume such a thing? Because Gregson told me. God. Damn. Oh, God. <laughs> Gregson. <laughs> okay. To think it's been ten years. Ten years in the laboratory, wielding my scalpel. Smell of nothing but corpses and defect disinfectant. Yeah. Hey, please, one of the jury had a lot to say about you as it happens. I'm sorry. Did he hit? And I've accused you of being complicit in what happened. I'm hoping that you'll take the stand until the truth of what really happened. That certainly won't be possible. No, brother. You get it. Lord Van Siegs won't be summoning me as a witness. <gasps> Lord Strongheart has forbidden it. <gasps> yes. Oh? Lord Strongheart. Higher up! The Pandora's box you were warned about is the Professor case. Yes. Please, but please, don't make the mistake of thinking you'll get any information about it out of me. Yes. Okay. Huh? Say? But attempting to hide Ooh. from the truth, 
That's cowardice. Yeah, call her a bitch. Oh, okay. Go. They start fighting. I've always fought crime in the way that I see fit. I have no regrets. None at all. And that's all I came here to say. She's killed a man before. So, good day to you. Is he still damn? Alive okay, she just walks team? out. Okay. Bye. Bye. Come back. Yes, like me. She's missing it too. This Pandora's box. Usually like just like me? Huh? <laughs> what did you say? I said, just I said like she me. mentioned it before. I said slay- no, I said slay queen! Uh, <laughs> I thought you said just like, like me, so I was like, what does that mean, actually? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what walks away like, from you, you just like me, for real. Uh, for real? Just like me. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like me. Whatever does it all mean? There's really no cause for concern. I assure you, when the trial resumes, the meaning will become all too apparent, whether you'll like it or not. Gasp. Huh? Now then, I believe it's almost time. I must make my way back to the public gallery. The edge of my seat awaits. I think maybe you're enjoying yourself a little too much. This man's like kicking his feet. Ah, oh, yes! Twirling his hair and just... gonna be able to watch. Huh? The taco just got home, so she'll be able to watch. <gasps> taco! Oh, yeah, taco mentioned! Taco mentioned! Yes! Oh, we just started. That's good. Ah, yes. One word of warning before I go. If in the course of the trial this afternoon, you perceive even a shadow of a doubt about the truth, don't let it out of your sight. Pursue it like the dog with a bow. What if it beat me yes, up? Yes, sir. He <laughs> gets. To the bitter end, you understand? Do not falter. Whatever may come to pass. But I'm very known faltering. <laughs> this, this, I don't fold. I don't fold at all. Uh, all right. You're gonna speak I ten understand. minutes into the testimony. Thank you. Good. I shall make myself <laughs> scarce. <laughs> oh wait, is that his chocolate? Oh, oh my oh, gosh. My no, I oh are you an animal? Yes. I pressed this above Garbo earlier, so I, I shall be gnawing on that as you gnaw away at the truth. This man's eating chocolate in the public gallery. Yeah, I gotta get out of here. That's the shit he eats whenever he <laughs> gets that award, bro. The show's really mean, I wonder. I gotta get out of here! Whatever may come to pass. <laughs> eat that. Mother, I'm the scared. bailiffs didn't say anything. Omg! Wow, this they didn't even be unplayable. It's time for the final chapter. Then I'm determined to find the truth, no matter what, even if I have to kill someone to do it. Oh, huh? <laughs> what? Well, I'm, what text is he reading? I'm not dying that? for it. <laughs> 20 for October, 12:40 p.m. The old. Oh, excuse me, let me finish reading it. The old Billy courtroom. <laughs> Oh, shit, that just scared me, a fucking medicine man. I forgot about him. Gee whiz. I got I'm fine. Excuse me. <laughs> oh my gosh. <coughs> In the name of her ma- Oh, okay, I got the voice. In the name of her majesty, the queen, I hereby <laughs> reconvene the proceedings of this court. Counselors for the defense and prosecution, are you ready and able to continue? God. Oh, oh, <laughs> Jimothy, my favorite dog. <laughs> oh, the, Jimothy. Oh, oh, Jimothy. <laughs> the prosecution's ready, my lord. Yes, my lord. The defense is also ready. As the court is aware, the is under scrutiny began with a demand. What? Damaging incident at the quick exhibition. Yet we now find ourselves embroiled in the details of a convicted felon who lived to the gallows a decade ago. Crazy shit, I say. This trial has certainly defied all expectation. No shock. It, uh... <laughs> Help? It's troubling. It dialogue. <laughs> oh. It seems to be the fate of all trials in which the Sniponese is involved, my lord. Who's you call me? So then. 
Nick. <laughs> <laughs> and let us. I, I, <laughs> a Negro. Let us begin this fight. That wax work was cardly involved in the matter. Lord Banksy. Oh. My lord, the way the screen shook too, he got scared. <laughs> <laughs> Are we still waiting for the arrival of Madame Tussbell? Not at all. But She's in the antechamber as we speak and ready to be summoned. Get her in here! <laughs> go, go fetch her for me, Jimmy. Very well! Bring in the witness! At once, my lord. Thank you! Oh! Bailiff, show Madame Tussbell to the stand! <gasps> Ooh, what the heck? Look at this! Things will become a lot more intense. <laughs> if there oh, was a I have OG. Lies, I'm sure he is. It means he must have had an accomplice. In the side. Casper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And what connects the pair of them is the waxwork. <laughs> yes, the mile of the professor. That's the key to the link between these otherwise unrelated individuals. It's a tenuous link, admittedly, but at present, it's all we have to go on. Ooh. <laughs> oh, but oh my god! It should have been me! Not him! It's not fair! <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is that? Ah, <laughs> uh, those. <laughs> What are you having in your hand? A smoothie. State your name and occupation for the court, please. My name is Madame Esmeralda Tospels. I am a waxwork artisan. And the proprietress of a of the Madame Tospels Museum of Waxwork. You will have to pardon me for working as I testify. My new exhibit must open very soon. She work she <laughs> she's like, I'm working. Oh, so he finally gets a statue, does he? Now there are two of them in the world. I Ugh. say oh my! What expression is she carving into that face? Just ought to pick yourself up. <laughs> the boy! She's about to upset. She's like, oh, we get the knees, bro. <laughs> oh, wait, come on! I just him. A number of days ago, a particular waxwork model was stolen from your museum. Can you confirm this? We? At first, we believed they had been kidnapped. Gasp! A works work model! Kidnapped! Oh, scary! He's not a kid! Yes, my lord. There was a demand for ransom money left behind by the culprit. However, according to what I have just been told outside the courtroom, that was not the true reason. I understand it was utilized as a substitute for the body of a murder victim? That's not true. <laughs> I don't believe it or whatever. Somebody lied. At present, there, that is no more than conjecture proposed by the defense. Hey, that's me. That's yeah. not me. <laughs> This is the victim in the case in question, Mr. Odios. But of course, I know him well. He is a part of my odious per... Personages exhibit. Yes. I detest yeah. to say what is evident, but Mr. Osman does not resemble the professor at all. Damn. Yes, but perhaps. I mean, perhaps I can see it. They're very similar. Just maybe. They're both guys. They're men. They're both white. And they're white. They're white. And they're white. They're white. <laughs> oh, <so. laughs> um, are you suggesting that we should see now the Dimas Visage as a professor? Yeah. Oh, she's got a key! It's a key, but it is strictly forbidden to open the lock. That is absurd. This? P pardon? Uh, I don't know what face you've carved into your fancy figure beneath that mask. But clearly, it won't be that of the actual killer. <gasps> hey, yo. Don't got a face. Ooh. That's, that's crazy. Okay. Um. Oh, he said he had to sneeze. <laughs> Judge just doesn't want to sneeze in our freaking ears, you know. I sneeze loud. <clears throat> Indeed. What's wrong? 
<laughs> the man's identity was never made public after all. Oh. Wonder. Somebody fucking lying. <laughs> You're not wrong. What's up? My bad. I I was sending a very important email. The trial took place in a closed court. The proceedings were strictly confidential. The condemned man was summarily executed. His identity remains a clo uh, got closely <laughs> guarded national secret. Stop. <laughs> hey, listen. That that I sold you. That's it. You're hitting. Hmm. Lord. There is no possible way that a repository of tawdry exhibits could get its hands on that information. <laughs> That's where you're wrong. Uh, <laughs> um, well, Domas. <laughs> she tucks the encyclopedia away in her bag. <laughs> Such <laughs> people, am I right? You know, Skitch to Susato. I'm pretty sure she's pretending to be Susato, she's. She's, she's lying, by the way. She's no, she's no, a word she's saying. Oh, but she's, she's so convincing. She's making, her, she's making words up. It was saying you are unaware of the Pascal's <laughs> principles. She took her book out, I saw it. What principles? Who's lying? It's like smudged written on her hand. <laughs> <laughs> the family to spells has always prided itself on sculpting its models a la perfection. Every detail, including the visage, is fashion with complete fidelity. It voila, our principles. <clears throat> There's a very well known legend about the Tuspel's waxworks from the time of the French Revolution. A member of the Tuspel's family is said to have made a waxwork of the Queen, who was executed. <clears throat> oui, that is true. It was a century ago now. Yeah. I believe the Queen's face was carved in the minutes following her death, according to, or uh, actually, at the guillotine site. Well, oh, fuck. You are correct. The model is on display still today in the House of Horrors. We to spells will stop at nothing to obtain a faithful replica of our subjects. Artists, am I right? Dear me, a somewhat disturbing tenacity of purpose. <laughs> 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 It is the only way to obtain a truly lifelike representation of the subject. That's true. And it has been my family's secret for generations. Do, 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 do you mean to say that beneath that mask? Oui. The true facade of the killer is there. Oh, oh my God. I want to oh. see him. Oh, no way. Luna! Hey, Vanix, how about oh. trauma do it? This is ludicrous. It's out of the question. <laughs> oh, wait, are you having a panic? Hey, 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 I didn't know it's been 20 years. I'm, I, oh, man, I'm sorry. Have you seen him? You saw the painting in the in the office. All right, Vendix, I'm sorry, I man. I, my case. I'm, I'm sorry. You know what? You know, you're right. I'm sorry, Vendix. That's my fault. I, 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 I was I, I was uneducated. Yeah, you saw Becky's emo where he had his eyebrow raised too. <laughs> I rest my you case. Together, right? <laughs> um, the professor spread terror throughout the Britain. <laughs> As a result, the Madame Tuscal's special exhibit remains extremely popular even today. The killer emerging from his own grave, it is a sight to be hoped, he should come. What the fuck? I think, madam, <laughs> it would be beneficial to hear your former testimony on this matter. You will explain every detail of this macabre model and your personal involvement of this creation. Uh? You guys, can you guys stop having fun with the, with the judge? <laughs> fucking around with this guy. Ah, uh, the Professor Waxwork. <clears throat> the rumor the reason for me exhibit fucking... in the House of Horrors is based on a rumor that shocks society. Put my whole chest in this shit. 
All right, man. Go. That's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. You got to get into it. Any portion of the visage was taken directly from the corpse in accordance with the spell's family principles. I enlisted the aid of a grave digger and created a mold for the head in the cemetery just before the interment. I hid myself until he gave me a signal. I was there for a very long time that night. As Don approached, I was very worried I could be discovered. That's quite insane. Oh, oh shit, I thought I said something. Oh shit, I thought I said the grave what? <clears throat> oh, don't say oh. that. Oh, don't <laughs> say that. <laughs> I was like, hey, yo, what, judge, hold on. The grave okay. digger. The man sanctioned this. Yeah, he had it. Susato is like chewing up a storm over there in the gap. Can you stop her? <laughs> oh no, 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 that's <laughs> Shon. That Shon's eating his Carmel, I'm sorry. <laughs> Your Honor, give me like five seconds. I'm gonna take a drink of my lemonade. Oh my god. Okay. Fine. We, I will do all that is necessary to achieve the true resemblance of the, the, that my family is celebrated for. Nobody else knew, only the grave digger. But how did it do, huh? So. You truly saw it? <laughs> so, the okay, so face of that monster? I can't get his lemonade open, help me. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Do Sato's eating? Uh, Rinox is trying to open his lemonade? Like, <laughs> Sato's like it. smacking off the wall. Rinox is struggling to open his lemonade. So, sorry, folks. I was parched. <laughs> this wouldn't have happened if he didn't have his bottle of water. What? What? Yeah, what? yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Judge, get that dog out of here. <laughs> <laughs> what do you smell, school? I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one dog allowed in this room, and it's that one. Is that one right there? <sighs> He's so talented. He chases later laser pointers and everything. <laughs> oh. I just... hmm. Where are we at? Uh, Madame Tuspell says uh, she's saying naturally, comma. Okay, okay. I read my line. Alright. But then I have to read my other lines. Alright, alright, I should be I should be here. <laughs> Naturally, I was aware of the time that his identity was a secret. But the spells would not be the spells if we did not insist on absolute fidelity to our sculptures. I don't believe this. Bro, okay, so... He's, he's, <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's upset! I myself has been sp what, what I can't read now. I myself have seen the special <laughs> exhibit at the museum, madam. I'm a huge fan, by the way. Autograph, please. Anyways, <clears throat> he's tweaking. He's tweaking. Woman, please! I'm trying to speak. <laughs> <laughs> you damn Japanese! I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, excuse me. Huh? <laughs> A truly blood curdling scene in the witch of murderer. It's a man who commits his own grave. Did you see that the pick was the subject of many rumors and years, ten years ago? Oh, we're, oh, really? I have here a newspaper from the time. Gals? Check it out! <gasps> oh, the great steak! I see it. <laughs> what? The great it's steak? Again. Where? It's it's behind the tech. Oh, I see it. It's stinky. They threw their trash out the the street. Oh, smell crazy. Rats. Out here. Rats. Crack. Wait, the Krakatoa <gasps> eruption. Oh shit! Huh? <laughs> oh, I see it. That happened but in she's 1883. Rampaging. So we know that was in 1883. Don't ask me. Oh, we're in the late, we're in the, we're in the 19th century for reals. 
That's so crazy. I didn't think we were wow. going to mention a real life event, to be honest. I like that, I like that. It keeps the immersion real. Yeah. Anyways. The special exhibit was based upon the picture in this article. It was the most detailed account of what happened, as reported by I the eyewitness who saw it. Oh, we got the article! Woo! Nice. Uh, uh... Look at that. Well, it looks like a zombie crawling out of the grave, not really a man. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. What's up? Man rises from the grave. It's too absurd for words. You probably can enjoy absurdity, Monsieur. That is why I have reproduced this scene as carefully as possible in my museum. That's crazy. Oh my fucking god. And it's a weapon from the exhibit that was stolen from some days before the incident of the Great Exhibition, wasn't it? That is correct. I knew it. The professor you see before you here. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I looked look away for a second. Care? I looked away for ah! two seconds. That's too Bruce. scary. Puzzling. Counsel for the defense. Proceed with the cross examination. The what? Ah, damn! Stop doing this to me! Ah! Is he just scaring you? Is he scary? Boo! <laughs> <laughs> I know. I just thought I expected. I don't want to be reached out by a man in a metal mask. Who which? <sighs> <clears throat> I wouldn't mind it. Gee whiz! This waxwork was drubber to life. Becky, there, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm asking Becky this because she would know. Hmm? Is he barefoot in? <laughs> No, he's got loafers. I see them. The the brown. I see him. Uh, I okay, but what about his dirty dogs? That <laughs> <laughs> spells crafting his dogs. <laughs> uh, I, I'm pretty sure she crafted all of him. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. And I mean everything. This long? Oh my god. Is uh, well, <laughs> a little professor, if you will. Help. <laughs> There's some reason for that, which hasn't yet come to light. But I found it. I'll find it. I found it all right. I'll find everything. Always come to freaking feet in this freaking street. <laughs> I just <laughs> wanted to know. I just wanted to know. <laughs> this is what a natural occurrence happened twice. I figured Becky would know because she has the art book and they drew him in the art book. That's it. <laughs> I'm gonna look right now! I'm gonna look right now! <laughs> oh my god, she wants to go so bad if his little doggies are out. <laughs> <laughs> There's no denial, everybody. Wait, this is the wrong right one. Oh my god. <laughs> She's a real rabbit. I'm taking right now! An intermission oh. for dogs again. <laughs> Not the, 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 the great dog war, too. Yeah! <laughs> I'll have me freaking <laughs> cooking that second, last time. The second dog war is upon us. Oh, ew! Uh, okay, here we go. He's got shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. End of story. Case closed. <laughs> Case closed. <laughs> For now. For now! <laughs> <laughs> Any Anyways. But I'll fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I can't fucking read. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna <laughs> put it together. This is not a good thing. This is not a good thing. Oh my god! <laughs> listen, listen. Drink your freaking. Get your freaking lemonade. Take a little sippy and continue. This is what I'm gonna fucking choke. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> give me like. Just give me two seconds. Okay, breathe, the boy. He's gotta, he's gotta breathe. He's gotta breathe. You know. He'll slap you on the back of your freaking head. It's, it's not a oh shit! <laughs> and you know she would. She freaking tosses people. This is sort of all cry. Don't do it. I'll withhold okay. this time. Thank you. Oh, Jimothy. Jimothy's talking <laughs> in the in the art book. He's so cute. <sighs> okay, but I'll find it. Out to the bottom of what really happened. I have to go to my mother. I project huh? a side adventure everywhere in this crime together. Oh my mama mother? gonna figure this out. Oh my mama! Back at what? <laughs> On Ja, even. What about your mother? Is she single? <laughs> Alright, settle down. Hold me with before, before I try some questions. Oh, we gotta look at the newspaper. <laughs> oh, it's true. We could do that. 
Uh, the soldier's yeah. hidden, by the way. It's over. What? It's over. It's it's really hidden now. It's gonna uh -oh. get ridiculous at this point. <laughs> Put the magnifying glass over driver's face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, what are we? What are we looking at, fellas? Oh! I'm just you just look at everything. They mentioned Charles Darwin. I was Darwin. reading the sheep story. Uh, Not sheep oh. rampage. They mm. even got the little. I'm seeing everything here now. Wait, do you see the 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 great blaze over there? Oh hey, shit! That was me. Was that the fire? The oh. fire? The 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 great fire of London or whatever it was called. Is there anything interesting about this article to you two? Uh, Wait, this happened on Monday. July? Ooh. Where's the date? Oh, it's just Monday. Where's What's the date? It's top. It says it's Monday and then oh, oh, okay. July. Well, I mean... I can't read cursive. I, I can't recursive. <laughs> I can't read. You can't see what I <laughs> You can't read that. I don't know what this I is. Mean, <laughs> No, That's for real? Like an artist signature, are you kidding me? You know how Vecchi will draw something and put a little signature at the bottom. Uh, that says V boo, bro. Uh, <laughs> Vecchi boob, if you will. <laughs> I forgot people can't read cursive nowadays. I can't. Okay, well. I, I mean, never uh, you never could. Oh my lord. Let's see. I guess I am the only one. I have an excuse. I'm what you call I'm ESL. Uh, stupid. <laughs> I have an excuse. I'm ESL, so no say English. My excuse is I'm yeah. stupid, so I, I think I, I think I win. Oh, <laughs> anyway, is that all we got for the yeah, article? Yeah. What the fuck is this? Okay, it's a check. If you want, right. you can look through evidence again just to have a refresher because you said you forgot everything. What's your yeah, but we're gonna we're gonna ball out and do everything on the fly. Okay. Well. We can look back at us we need. And that rumor would be... You tell your tale now, but not... But when that no Londoner would ever forget. Oh Japanese. shit! Japanese. Oh, right. Oh god, what did I get? <laughs> I think it's kind of, kind of southern. There are a lot of southerners uh, right. in this. I know just what you're talking about, I think. <laughs> of course. It couldn't be anything else. Hey guys. Yes, that story will never disappear. Ah! My body did the talk to catch you off! Uh oh. The tale of the condemned killer rising from the dead. That is the central attraction of my House of Whores. House of Whores?! Oh, oh, I think the professor's in there. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh my! Damn! He's a little I've heard. Fucking slut. Ten slutty, slutty years, that's why. The rumor was whispered all over the Tragic. city, and it was like this. <laughs> this is her saying, right? Probably. Um, it was in yeah. the cemetery behind the prison, in the dead of night after the execution of the, of the killer. Professor theme! The interred professor slid back the stone tab covering his tomb and emerged from his grave. A young man who witnessed this felt his scream well up inside him. But an instant later, he heard an earth splitting gunshot over his shoulder. The bullet struck the emerging corpse and he fell motionless once more. Damn, he got shot! <laughs> the screen finally found its way from the mouth of the young witness who turned and ran for his life. Damn, they were ready, huh? They were like, we ain't gonna deal with no zombies here. I dare this motherfucker to come back to this goddamn grave. Wow. <laughs> I dare him. He gonna, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna love this. <laughs> There's like eight guys waiting for <laughs> Oh, he got what he got. <laughs> Lord, it was. He got what he No, not me. Are they from Alabama? <laughs> yes. There's some culture bull kids I hear. Yeah, we gonna eat good tonight, yeah. boys. Yeah, what? <laughs> Get him, Jimbo! That's the one that comes from Louisiana. <laughs> and then a skeleton jumped out. The, the, the corpse. Climbed out of his own grave? So, so I'm scared. And then somebody shot him? 
Who? Who was it? She's not scared, she's just intrigued. Nobody knows, even today. <gasps> it was so what? It's just a rumor. <laughs> so this is a gun! It's nothing more than a ghost story. Mm -hmm. The good people of London, they love stories like this. That's why it was in every newspaper in the capital. Rose, I know! We're over, Jeeps! Whoa, I'm red! Right here, I'm here! Whoa, whoa! Oh! Oh! What is even going on? Just howling. Uh, gee whiz! It wasn't that the night, yeah? Oh, whose turn is it? It's your turn! Oh, shit! I'm just, I couldn't hear over the howling, my bad. But, but it was the story. So he saw it. <laughs> I mean, this is exactly what it seems like it can only be seen today at your museum, isn't it? We, oui. this special exhibit was modeled on a very illustration. For a while afterwards, the contents of that article were reproduced in every newspaper imaginable. Madam, might I say something? Please go ahead, mademoiselle. When something is described as a rumor, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's entirely made up. I believe that often, rumors contain elements of the truth. Susato would have made numbers on Twitter. I'm not gonna right. she be taught. She's got the call-out post ready. Susato's the quote retweeter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Actually, I did my research, and this actually isn't entirely correct. There are some elements of it that are like. It's the community notes. <laughs> she yes. is writing the community notes. Yes. Like, that is a dog, and then links the Wikipedia page to dog. <laughs> oh, I see that people from the east can be just as astute as the people of Europe. A mm. non-racist. Wow. She is it. She's yeah. She was like one of those who's very understanding. She's French. Can we be sure, for instance, that the professor's execution was successful? Oh. Hmm, mm, she had a nerve it's there. Possible for the dead to come back to life. Well, <clears throat> Cosmo, is that true? <laughs> Sorry. His name is Jimothy. No, it's not. <laughs> Ten years ago, I was there in Moggy Cemetery. Oh. Uh, after the criminal known as the Professor was killed by hanging, I took a wax impression of his visage from the corpse just before it was interred. <laughs> so I can assure you, the man was dead. Oof. How dead? That's rough. Shot in the grave. How dead? <laughs> I he was shot. Like a, he was like a worm on a string. They pulled his corpse out of the... <laughs> Oh, the app is like pulling on the freaking apple. <laughs> my god. My god. It would certainly appear the condemnance of it. What? <laughs> Did he die? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing to say, baby. Nope. Let's see. He's having oh. a panic attack. Yeah, inter internally. He's panicking. I'm looking for bag. Is that true? Have you worked for the museum then? It is. I'm assuming Z subject is dead, of course. Dead! Z subjects have people operate in a similar way. I have letters from imprisoned criminals all the time, you know. Got Jack the Ripper? Jack the Ripper! Did you say what sort of letters? Yes. Yeah, he did. Okay. Would my thank arms <laughs> please make a waxwork of me? Hunza. No! <laughs> Dang. So not over the idea of her looking at her hand, it's like smudged writing. <laughs> <laughs> and my museum is famous, Monsieur. To be made until you wax work is an honor. And for some criminals, a symbol of status, even. Because nothing says hard and criminal better than wax. 
<coughs> Sorry, ma'am, I had to clear my throat. <coughs> Hold up, ma'am. <coughs> Carry on. <laughs> and Super if it's thanks to what killer in particular that my museum has gained such popularity and honor, I refer to the star of this spe uh, special exhibit, of course, the Professor. So <gasps> damn sure. Mm. form you claim to have captured by taking an impression of the actual course. Thought about the picture of him saying Professor. <laughs> Clint. <laughs> there are no exceptions. <laughs> It's a principle. Nah, I'm not escape. Let him live. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought it's funny. It's a funny name, bro. His name's Clint. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 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 What's his name? Like Kermit or something? I don't know. Uh, I can look at it now. I was looking at his content. Is, he has an actual name from the Japanese translation. Uh, Kermit Van Zeeks, bro. Oh, are they pronounced? Cootie Man, I think. Woo! Cootie Man. Oh Man. my god, that's a name, alright, folks. Cootie yeah. Crem, even. But the fan translation just made it Clint with an M to be Clint. Which does Clint? sound better. Yeah. It, it genuinely is. It sounds better to me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, continue with your dialogue, Mr. Funny Man. Charles, wait, wasn't it? It would seem the proprietress of the repository of novelties was blinded by monetary greed. Girl, I understand. Never mind. It had nothing to do with money. The man is part of London's criminal history. That is why I had to sculpt him to record this history. It is but the money. raison d'etre of the Tostos Museum. These nuts, bro. Alright, man! But if the man was convicted of a close court and sentenced for immediate execution, then surely, no, surely, you don't air fryer. Nobody but the members of the Jews, judiciary present was no, uh, whatever, man. Real talk, we're just gonna be scared of air fryer, probably. He's afraid of a lot of things, and I think an air fryer would be one of them. Like, oh, okay, uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Fun fact, um. <laughs> uh, yeah. We did that new air fryer. The uh -huh. broke. Uh, and it scared me. What I say? <laughs> Why? What happened? Is it loud? Well, no, it's not loud. It's like it's strong. It's strong. Strong. It has hands. The the the, the, the door. It's you gotta really <laughs> pull. It. Yes. <laughs> you 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 gotta really pull the door to open it. Like I I didn't pull it hard enough, and then it came at me. Oh my god. <laughs> so I just pulled it too much over and I got scared. Help me. This guy. <laughs> anyway. I assure you behind that mask is hidden the true face of the professor. Put it on God! Do you realize what you're saying? The professor's identity is a national secret. Bro, she sculpted it! Who do you I think she is? Not. Come on. And now that the truth of the special exhibit doesn't reveal the Wait, hold on, I just got my job back. Am I gonna, am I gonna get fired again? Um... Oh. Renato, why would Rinesuke say no, she, not the one saying this. No, Rinesuke's not the one saying this. Tusk spells. I know, but, yeah, I'm here, I'm, but I'm here in foreign. He's not gonna get deported because someone else committed a crime. If anything, she would because she's not from this country. Oh she's my god! Oh, I forgot. Woo! She's Too from French. French. <laughs> she's from <laughs> France. <laughs> woo! I'm safe. I'm the only foreigner in the room now. This man said, "Woo!" <laughs> of course it will, as your entire museum, as will your entire museum, if you don't tread very carefully. Okay. That could be another interesting chapter in the history of my family, I think, don't you? Oh, she's flirting. Wow. So ten years ago, the night of press execution, <laughs> press is, oh my gosh, I'm slurring words. So ten years ago, on the night of press execution, you took a wet impression of his face from the corpse. That's crazy. Oui. Exactamente. I see. Yeah. Mata. Papa. Mata. Who got that game in English? <laughs> Hold it! <laughs> <laughs> you were there Objection. longer than you took it to be. 
Objection! I had some difficulties in capturing these objects from correctly. As I removed the mask, the mouth of the cadaver fell open and I had some problems with the chin. Oh. No. Huh? Um. D dare I ask? Z-Man had been dead for a short while already, you see. His muscles huh? were relaxing and consequently his chin would not align itself correctly. Damn! Oh dear! Oh, I wanna go home. Open. Open. What a horrible thought! That's insane! Under normal circumstances, <laughs> I would have an assistant with me. However, that night I was alone, and as a consequence, I missed my preferred window of time. What do you mean? When I take the impression of the visage of a cadaver, I always wait until three hours after death. Oh, sure. Why three hours? Is that amount of time, that amount of time significant? Because of Rick and Morty, come on. <gasps> Rick and Morty, bro. It's because of Vigo Mortis. <laughs> Wiggly Mortis. Help me! Rick and Morty! Rinos. Let me get that book out, Rinosuke! Don't hurt yourself, sweetie! But I don't, <laughs> under did you know I don't it? understand! <laughs> it's okay, I got you. Okay. It's the name given to a phenomenon that occurs in the recently deceased body. Deceased? Yeah. As a rule, three hours post-death, the muscles in the body begin to stiffen. <laughs> At approximately ten hours past death, the entire body is completely rigid and inflexible. True. And then, from that point on, the muscles slowly start to revert to their relaxed state. Bam! I got you. The effect is often used to estimate the time of death when a body is discovered. <laughs> I see. Well, that was education. It's still a scary one, you know. I I probably won't sleep tonight, but you know how it is. Is what it is. I'm remembering a few things about the case. <laughs> Oh, yeah. As the Mademoiselle says, the rigor mortis commences three hours after death, and it starts in the jaw. I see. So that's why you wait. Before that time, the mouth fall open, and it is very difficult to do my drug. <laughs> Getting out to do my work with all this ton of corpses. Home. Bro, that man's eyes sunken in a bit, you know. So I wonder about that information the court just heard from Madame Tuspells. I wonder. It's significant, I'd say. As always. Yeah. As always. <laughs> no, that's um, wait and see, brother. <laughs> the information about Rick and Morty that you just shared with us. Would you mind <laughs> including any test testimony? He turned into a pickle missing out of hodo. Pickle! Pickle Rick! Pickle Rick! <laughs> would you mind including your form testimony? I believe it would be... Could be... <laughs> would you mind including it in your form testimony? I believe it could be... Oh my god, why is that so hard for me to say B? Would you mind including your form testimony? I believe it could be significant for you, see. Of course, I do not mind at all. Thanks. I can't help feeling that after this latest topic... The atmosphere in the courtroom has become extremely <laughs> grave. We got a killer, bro. We got a killer. <laughs> Show him his gun to her. <laughs> Tarumi is exhibiting laughing <laughs> loudly at a girl because you like her. She's not the oh, worst joke ever and because you like her. Oh my god, Susato, you're so funny. I've never heard a joke like that before. You're so funny, Susato. <laughs> Oh my god. I don't know. Rinosuke definitely <laughs> said the opposite on the screen. He didn't give a shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he's dying. That is peak laughing at a girl's joke because I like her. There's no other way. You're gonna walk away scared, bro. You're gonna walk away scared. <laughs> I like stupid jokes like that, man. Let me cook. Oh, I love shit like that, man. It's just hilarious. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> it's so funny, Susa I miss Susato, you're so funny. Susato, please! This is not for jokes! <sighs> I know I laughed at all, but this, this is not, not, this is not a joking matter! Except for what it is. Madam! Come amend your testimony and disgust. So mad! Yes, Chill! <laughs> <laughs> she amended it, so that means it's a very important piece of testimony. As always. Happening. You know, skin blowing his nose or something? What's going on? I was trying to hold back a laugh. So <laughs> uh, um. Wait! <laughs> what did you just press? Nothing. Oh. You skipped her new her. Yeah, and so I, was, I yeah I, I always forget that. <laughs> I was gonna say I saw. You gotta go back. <clears throat> Fuck. <laughs> Rigor mortis being the phenomenon you described, whereby the corpse begins stiff after death. I think you said that it starts at the jaw, about three hours post death. Is that right? Can we. This, uh, of course, the exact duration depends a little on the season. The season? It was. I didn't realize the Westbrook Artisan would be so well first in the subject. What kind of spices yeah, do you use? That is only on the entry now. Lemon and pepper? Well, I had no idea about it. But maybe I won't admit to my ignorance about forensic science. I'm not here right now. Dude. <coughs> What did you say? I so said he's not here right now. Oh. Hmm. I could ask you if I wish you a very right. simple primer if you'd like. Susato, bitch, where? I think corpses should be in your domain. I'm not good with them. They scare me. Oh, dear. I'll do my very best. And then... Scroll Twitter. Oh, no! Oh. So, it's a love gotten on. Got to go on. I I did forget to do the thing, so just bear with me. What? I forgot to I forgot to press the last statement. Oh, okay. Well, you'll have to read the dialogue on your own then. I think me and Becky. I almost called you Susato, by the way, Becky. I think me and Becky. <laughs> um. Oh. Okay. Press. What's your feeling, Mr. Naruto? For some reason, I just started putting along with Dripper's plan. And now that now that's really true, the oppressor is the only other thing we know of that lists a pair of them. So I'm full sure that the waxwork must be a clue to this mystery somehow. In that case, we must use this cross examination to uncover exactly what it means. Otherwise, the jurors are sure to revert re oh, no. re what the fuck? Revert their learnings leanings and the trial will be over. I agree, but interestingly, I'm covering what the professor has to do with all this. He's more Lord Van Zeeks than he's more Lord Van than anyone. Look at him over there, Cesaro, he's tweaking out. That's Did somebody the say impression. Lord Van Zeeks? That's the impression I'm getting anyway. Yes, as do I. After all, his profound connection to the professor as well. Brother murder. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> you said that you, you said that, <clears throat> What the fuck? You said that Don was approaching. What was the time of day then, approximately? Alright, what time was it? Well, I could Four. not say. But when I left the cemetery with my utensils and wax, the morning light was becoming visible. The execution took place on 17th of June, which had Oh, the that wasn't August. July. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a look right now. I mean, I'm not gonna accuse him of lying, but oh yeah, you know what? It could be July. It could be June. I mean, not July. Damn. They got him. What? What year was the 17th of June in the 1800s? Can somebody figure that out? Because we can find out the exact year <laughs> this is. Monday. <laughs> June. Um, the execution took place on 17th of June, which had the earliest sunrise of that year. Hmm. 
A judge. Oh shit. <clears throat> Sorry, I fell asleep. Indeed, indeed. First light would have been around four. Hey, I was right. Four forty in the morning. That, that really is early. No way. It was eighteen eighty nine. <laughs> oh, there we go. I figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> Get just so everyone knows, June seventeenth, eighteen eighty nine. <laughs> the fact is, I had very little time, so I finished my work in a half hour. It was necessary to complete the impression and bury the body before they break a course. If anybody had discovered me there, it would have been a catastrophe. So I had to hurry. Is it me, or does Mr. Shom seem to be taking shape more quickly now, too? Mm, you said me a bit of a... You I sweet wonder, <laughs> is what she said particularly significant? Yes. Hmm. Always. Every hmm. single time. The testimony hmm. person could be saying, I had lunch at 2 p.m. And Rinosuke's like, that was super significant. Always. What did you, and what did you have for lunch? Um, I think a roast beef sandwich. Significant! A roast beef sandwich. Mm. Cosmo's favorite. With coke it's even. It's meat. Diet. Madam, look at about how long you took the complete sculpture in earlier summarized. Could you include them in your testimony? I believe it needs to be significant. Of course, if you would like me to. Ah! You're quite right, Mr. Narahoda. Haha, uh -huh, yeah. It is intriguing. A sunrise at four in the morning would be absolutely unimaginable at home, wouldn't it? That's not quite what I meant by significant. Oh, well, let me me. have this. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Kindly amend your formal testimony, then, madam. With pleasure, my lord. Thank you. Caressing? I think I already no! know the answer. You say no? <laughs> No, I, do. I I tried to press it again. Oh, well, well, time to look back at these art books. I hurry to finish my work in a half an hour before summarize. Then there I left to see if I was in two. You know, there's a page in the art book where Susato's hair is down for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You may get a nice tree if you're nice enough to me. Help. I'm always nice to you. This art is been nice. But... It's true. It's true, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a Very nice well. I'm a nice fella. Did you have a reason to believe you might be discovered once the sun came up or something? I have paid the grave digger money to keep my little secret, of course. A bribe! But with the money night, I knew that the warden from the prison would soon commence his patrol of the area. Couldn't you just have paid off the warden too, then? Yes, she was 16 years old. How much money do you think she had? Enough? Oh, I don't think I- Wait, I'll be able to press- You didn't press it? Did you just present evidence? <laughs> I meant through my playthrough. Not through my playthrough. Oh! Yeah, I think you did just present at something else, if I remember right. Becky did not press this shit. <laughs> I did, though. Oh. I have already paid the grave digger, as I said. I cannot buy the silence of everyone. Or the secret is no longer secret, don't? The sunrise was at 4.40 a.m. that day. Which means it would have been around 4 when you began your sculpting work. Oui, that must be correct. That would be when the Great Digger gave me the signal to come out of hiding. Well, well, well. All that's left now through me is for you to figure out what to do. Uh. Me, on the other hand, I know exactly. I have to look quick. Fuck! I just pressed it by accident. <laughs> oh, so my guide? Your guide? Yeah, I can give you a, a hint or two. <laughs> Jimmy doesn't want any of my hints. I wonder why. So weird. Oh, yeah, I, won I wonder why. 
This is super weird. I can give you him right now, actually. Hold on. <laughs> I'd rather. You know, I'm good. Are you sure? Because, like. Hold on. I, 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 think, I think I'm kosher. You're gonna love this fucking him, bro. Hold on. I'll take that. Okay. Let's go, Everett. Where is it? We've got an armband, a newspaper, a sketch, a crossbow, a piece of green cloth, a photograph of the victim, the autopsy report, a screwdriver, a photograph of the balloon, a photograph of the driver, the wooden birdcage, camera, a piece of broken glass, science trophy, oh here it is. The fuck is this? Aha, I got it. Oh, I didn't get it. Whoops! I did it! Yay! Becky, can you tell me, please? I have soju in my brain right now. So. Oh. Can you go ahead and drop me I, a hint? I remember so that Jeffrey. Drop, she sends me Art of Cosima. <laughs> Help. No. Hi. Please. Can you hint? Just me. Because I'm so fun and cool to hang out with, and I'm cute and. Stop. <laughs> trying to type something, you just keep yapping. <laughs> she called me a yapper. <laughs> I figured. I. Did that on the wrong. Ah. But I knew it was that one. I looked back and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. This don't make no sense. <gasps> Alright, yeah. Kurumi, what are you thinking? My, my pal. My buddy, oh, pal. Oh, he's also just three dollars. Oh, he's okay. I see what you're doing. Mm -mm. By Joe, mm -mm. I think he's cooking. Oh, Taco's here! Hi, Taco! Taco! Has Trumi cracked it? I think he's- I think he's cooking. We're no skin, we gotta cook! Don't overthink, bro. Don't overthink. <laughs> if you got something in your gut, just go for it, man. Okay. He said, okay! This is also real estate. Okay, yay! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> oh, my back. <sighs> Madam Cuspells! Oh, hell talk, I was, I was in my zone. <sighs> yeah, but I saw that you read through the testimony. I was like, oh, he's got this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, ooh, he's looking back through. Okay. Madam Tuspells. <laughs> I have here an autopsy report that was filed 10 years ago now. It confirms the death of Professor Fall. It confirms the death of Professor Fall and his execution of the gallows. And is that the problem? Probably. I believe it is, because your testimony, and a peculiar detail in the report, completely contradict one another. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, you are sowing your element. What? Oi. Are you going to explain yourself, my Nipponese friend? Don't call me that. Um, it's like... <laughs> and... <laughs> I... <laughs> I'm gonna... I, 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 why am I gonna call the N-word in court every day of my life? My god! <sighs> it's not that bad. He could be calling you something else. Like, well, yeah, he could be. He could be his hard art. <clears throat> According to her testimony, Madame Tuspels was crazy at Westbrook just before dawn, and at that time, Rick and Morty had not yet set in. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Chat two. <laughs> I have one person in particular too. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry for coughing. Oh. <laughs> Help. Nice save. Nice save. Nice save. <laughs> Thanks, Taco. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Am I crushed so far, madam? Hold up. Hold up, all. Oh, Lemonade yes. time. As I said, the stiffening of Zijar is the first sign of rigor mortis. 
two or three hours after death. I'll wait for you to continue. I'm not going to. But the man Jin was limp, so he could not have been dead for a long time. Paco, listen. We're talking about this. We know Madame Tuspel. Come on. That every single part of that man. She made sure to get every single detail. That's why every time we see him, we're like, white man jump scare. Ooh. But like, if you unbutton his shirt a little bit, you would see a lot. If you took his pants down a little bit, you would see it. Not in court, please. Take his shoes off, you would see it. Huh? Not the dogs again. <laughs> it stopped the dogs, actually. <laughs> Oh, it's a, it's an exact replica, all right. <laughs> it's the real deal. Um, I did read Tuspel's um. Dialogue. But on the other hand, if you look at Dr. South's report, it's quite clearly states the following: death by hanging confirmed at midnight, 17th June. No, oh. calm down, man. Is this the pancakes? You good? You want to talk? You need a break? No? Okay. He hasn't had a little sippy yet. Meanwhile, me. Oh, I'm to tell you something, I'm you know? I'm always getting turned. At 3.48 in the morning. My time. If the professor indeed died at midnight that day, then by the time you were sculpting his face, rigor mortis would have already set in. Gasp! Oh, Tussy Wussy. Tussy <laughs> Wussy, come on. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Wee, you are right. The chin would have been completely stiff. Yeah, it's real. Anyways, um, in other words, this report is wrong. Somebody's uh -oh. fucking lying. Z, get off her fucking dick. No. They can't be helped, man. Have you seen him? <laughs> no coroner makes mistakes when recording the time of death. The very idea is absurd. Well, maybe she's just bad at her job. And you know what? Her strap kinda good, too. You know? What Whoa. the fuck? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, too far. Way <laughs> too far. <laughs> Anyways, in that case, there's only one possible conclusion. The execution did actually take place in the stand. <clears throat> My thing. The execution did oh. actually take place in the state of time. I'm pointing at shit. Yeah, probably, yeah, you see the tweaker. Tweaking. I'm in my bag right now, baby. Look at me. I'm Ryosuke Naruhoto, and this is my courtroom. Uh, impossible! <gasps> uh. Order! Order! Counsel, this is beyond folly. No. Not only, not only what, the, <laughs> the author of the report, Dr. Scythe, we also implicated members of the staff at Barclay Prison were executed to get place. By heck! Extraordinary! Oh Not in my day! Why is it my voice said a damn word? My learned friend appears to have overlooked one very crucial fact. Oh, yeah? Where's Kazuma? Oh, he's behind. <laughs> See he's shoulder. still there, man. He's literally <laughs> standing there. Like, I, couldn't, I couldn't see him, but I got scared. I was like, look, again, I can't lose you again. He's just eating his little, his little treats. You know those bones that you give the dogs that it takes him a while to finish? That's what he's chewing on right now, bro. Sorry. He's enjoying himself. The professor died that night without question. Prove it. He, he did. Were you there? Of course he did. I moved the man's. Oh shit. I moved the man's. Jump. <laughs> She's, 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 uh, she was British for a second there. Forgot she was yes. British. <laughs> the professor died that night. But what if he didn't die at the gallows? Didn't die? Are you insane? What, yeah. What is that that you're suggesting that happened in that case? <laughs> oh, Taco. It's almost impossible to believe. But it would explain if you went. Cough, cough! It also, it's also, what? It's also, what? It's, it's almost impossible to believe, but it'll explain the link between Dr. Scythe and the professor. And that one other person of interest. I never said we'll explain exactly what I'm suggesting happened that night. What? We do? 
<laughs> uh, shit, I, I'm bluffing. Um, Council! Press the damage at once. I don't wanna. I don't. Oh, 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 fuck me. Oh, oh. oh, wait. Never mind. I know what it is. Oh, uh, uh, your honor, man. I I'm was not just gonna... kidding. I was kidding, by the way. I was joking, true me. Uh, I was testing you. I know your... exactly what happened that night. Your honor. Your honor. I was. I was capping, my lord. Um. I would just make Come a shit on. up. It's I was, easy. I was what happened shit up. that night? I was making shit up, Your Honor. What it's happened what I, that it's night? It's what I would you say if I was making shit up, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm fucking stupid? You <laughs> 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 guys. He's got it! <laughs> let's, let's show him. Hold on to his hat! Like, oh! My goodness! I, it's in the agenda! It's my chase! He's done it! I'm eating my chocolate! Show him like he's back from the cows! Calm down! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Your honor, get the guy out of here! <laughs> he's distracting, he's distracting me! <laughs> He like look up. He's like not behind you, but he's like in front. And you like you look across the way. He's smack and roll. You're right. There, there's, 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 a, there's a member of the gallery that's just <laughs> eyeing me for no reason. And he's scaring shit out of me. Just smacking on candy. Is, is food even loud in there, Your Honor? Ooh, um, I don't know. It's, oh my god. <laughs> it's like moaning when you see bias. So good. <laughs> I, I, your Honor, I can't wear this. We'll figure it out. I'm, oh my god, Susano, help me! <laughs> oh, he's so dreamy when he eats his caramel that Oh was my in god! The Box Magazine! <laughs> I'm the Just only like sane talk. man in this courtroom! <laughs> <laughs> what happened that night is written very plainly in this newspaper article. Executed <laughs> criminal, returns to the dead at night, let local cemetery, etc. Et he's like, you're waiting <laughs> really hard for the newspaper. <laughs> Crinkling the right here. Crinkling. <laughs> You're suggesting it was a corpse coming back from the dead now? Maybe. Well, in this article, it's believed, yes. The professor, assumed dead following his execution, emerged from his grave and was killed again. Double death. Yeti. Yeti. Don't Some be a fool. Leave. That's simply a rumor published by the gutter press. Damn. Okay. Can you be certain of that? Where's your evidence? Are you Were you there? Yeah. Nah. Nah. The point That's is, as the article says, there was a witness to that what happened. My word! Yeah. Yes, indeed! Uh, my squaw! The young guy who stole it to the cemetery by chance that night! <laughs> Can I get the first accent, man? I forgot. <laughs> Of course it was a witness. The story didn't write itself, but obviously the man made it all up. Oh dear. <laughs> In any case, it was ten years ago now. There was only be no hope for finding him. If only there was a way to find out who he was. <laughs> On the contrary, my lord! We know this witness well. What? Yeah, what oh is? What these nut bitch? Anyways, <laughs> are you suggesting, Council, that you've identified the person in question? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, you know what's so funny is like they, they just generally don't. Like it's right there on on the piece of paper. So. <laughs> to be fair, they want you to answer it too. I know, they, I know. They have to act stupid just so it can. Yeah, be like, it's 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 a game mechanic, but also so these people would not. Gotta act like, dumb to gas so me funny. up, baby. I love every minute of it. That's why exactly. exactly. I'm a narcissist. Yes, my lord. <laughs> In fact, it's right here, right before my very eyes. Take the vannies, bro. <laughs> you will substantiate your latest claim now. Then the witness? Is who the bath is on moon? Who is the last <laughs> witness of the starring scene in the cemetery ten years ago? Easy dumbass! It's the Bohemian boy! <laughs> he says that with all confidence. <laughs> Are you seeing a baby to describe? Yes, I am. He was like one year old. <laughs> <laughs> it was a goddamn infant, a toddler, if you will. 
bro was what? <laughs> you think he was one years old? He couldn't <laughs> kill himself? You were, you're, you're, back in, back in my home country. <laughs> oh, oh no, no, that's so well. Back in my home country, babies walk right outside the womb and get a job immediately. They're already fully functioning people. Except for me, I was Listen. different. I was. I was special, that's you not bring, important. Um, you bring that boy out, and he's gonna be like, Yo, 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 I, I saw him <laughs> getting shot. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. <laughs> like that, we got him. Fuck you, God. That boy's oh. gonna be traumatized. Oh, man. Why do you think he got the. Yeah, why does he have the bandage on? That was never uh, explained. My, Nobody fault. asked if he was okay. That's why I, I pushed him on the ground when I was walking through the courtroom. Oh, oh. <laughs> scared me. Slammed his head on a wall even. Wasn't this boy like a royalty? Did you get yes, in trouble? He is. He's a oh friend. Uh, from Bohemia. Hold Bohemia Rap City, bro. <laughs> Mama! <laughs> I just killed the man! And I got a guess it's Papa Patrick and now he said oh, no. Life is epic Are we choosing our winners by the way? I'm waiting, um I already I, chose I, them I chose, but we're, what happened to choose to remove what happened? He's trying to think of Bohemian boys the right answer <laughs> So let's open this art book again this now, man said, Sherlock. Got it. Sherlock Holmes. 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 Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. You know, honestly, Sherlock's like 9 out of 10. A 10 out of 10, I mean, I don't know why I said 9. Um, Smash. Eugen Mikotaba. Smash. Iris Wilson, pass. Barak Banzi, smash. Absolutely smash. I. It's not even a question. Mass Disciple, smash. Clint Banzi, smash. Kusanaga smash. Doseki smash. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? 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 What's going on? What, Taco? What's wrong? You're saying who? Who do you mean? I'm just saying smash everybody. Ta Aochi Takesuchi smash. Uh, pass, I mean, not smash. Fuck that guy. William Shanspear, pass. Gina Lestrade, smash. Toby, pass. Albert Hairbrain, pass. Wait, now he was looking kind of fine in some of his concept art. That's a pass. Enoch Drebber, pass. Smash, I mean. Courtney Scythe, smash. Her daughter, Smash. Okay, stop the Smash or Pass, brothers. I'm waiting for Tarumi to choose his answer. You're yeah, asking Arthur to Smash. Oh, you played his back, hello. I couldn't find the clip, anyways. Uh, huh? <laughs> He's looking for sick. I was looking for I was looking for a clip. It's the bitch, bitch dead, too long. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Debbie Webby. The man in question is Mr. Enoch Drebba. Rock physique smash. I have to say it again. Just Drebba. Judge smash. The previous witness. <clears throat> the best exhibit in the House of Horrors, a map of both museum of Exploit of Waxwork. Recreates the decade old scene in great detail. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> A condemned criminal merged with the grave, and beside the tomb. 
A young man with a lantern stumbling upon the stumbling upon the terrifying sight. Got spooked. And that young man. It's a ten well, year younger Mr. Enoch Drebba. Look at that guy. Throws it back in court. Order, order, order! Hey, Timothy, it's time for your W A L K. <laughs> surely, surely not, Council. Dumb boy, dumb. Look, dumbass, you saw it in the paper. Sorry, sorry, physics, I'm sorry. I know, I know you're talking right now. I didn't mean to be. I didn't mean to yell at you. Devil was there in Logan Cemetery. <laughs> um, what is all this talk about, Mr. Drubber? Is the name for significant? Hello. Of course, Mom's not supposed He's to know she does she. Yes, it's extremely significant, madam. Two situations as well, in fact. What what's situation? Her, what's her face? I forgot her name immediately, um... Tussie Wussie. Tussie Wussie! Miss Tussie Wussie. Tussie Yo Wussie, you know. Hello? Um, uh, I read my line, Rinosuke. Oh, I didn't hear you. <laughs> yeah. Um, the theft of, the theft of Professor Rat. God damn it. The theft Hello. of the. Oh. He's stuck on a whoopee cushion. <laughs> <laughs> the theft of the Professor Rat work from your museum some days ago. Well, blah, 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 God damn it, big words. Perpetrated by the same very. By the, oh my. I just, I'm just, I just can't read it. That, that's all. By the same man. But no, perpetrated by the no. same, by the very same man. But that would mean I. Madam, this spells a lot French. It no. would appear you know the name Enoch Drebber. Enoch Drebber. We oui, yes, I know it, but from <laughs> letting go in the past. Good gracious. <laughs> Every time. I'm a judge, I get this two fucking cents, bro. Who cares? <laughs> <Don't> care. <laughs> Explain yourself. Tell us everything you know. Well, yes. Yes, of course. I keep hitting my ankle on my damn bed, bro. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> Professor C. The story of the young man and the terrible sight he witnessed in the cemetery ten years ago was published in every single newspaper in London and throughout Great Britain. However, in all of the articles, the witness was simply described as such a young man. No details were published about his identity. His name was never revealed. It'd be, a, it'd be really disheartening to look up at the name, and it, it's like Van Vee's or something. I would have been pissed off. <laughs> it'd be, you, know, you know what would be really fucked up and hilarious also, but wouldn't probably- but also wouldn't make it really- it wouldn't make any sense. Yes, Jerumi. Huh? If it was Clint, that would be funny, but also wouldn't make any sense because, <laughs> like, Clint died, you know? What the fuck? That's so fucked up, bro. <laughs> like, what Clint did all these murders like... and he fucking killed himself, and I was like, I was like what the fuck, Clint? What if, like, the whole time, like, <laughs> we're just like, like, coming out of the, the grave, you know? Oh, look, okay, I, I said it didn't make sense, but it'll be funny. <laughs> okay? I, I just, it's just one of my crackle days, it's just, I just like, oh, that'll be fucked up. But, like, I, yeah, I, I can't, I can't fathom my way before it makes sense. So it's just, it's, it's, it's nothing serious. It's just not one of the cosmos of life situations from, past, from days of past. You're just saying this shit because you want to bully Barak so badly. Like, hey, girl, <laughs> no, you I, know, I, I, no. Look, look. Yeah. I, I, just, I just said it'd be fucked up! My god! And that, it doesn't make sense, because Clint was also killed by the professor. So, like, you know, there's some kind Clint. of fucked up conspiracy <laughs> going on, uh, which like... it probably is. Well, anyways. That's the, that's the equivalent of being like, the guy who killed Hitler must have been a great person. And then just, <laughs> that's literally what you're saying. <laughs> oh, I'm not being serious! I was like. I was, I, I just, this is, I'm not being genuine here. This is, I was like, what, but what if? What so if? <laughs> but what if? What if, like, he was the professor, he, like, killed himself, and, like... <laughs> <laughs> My God. 
She is. Is. I'm, so I'm sorry. <laughs> it's so funny. Just what if like we were aliens? Oh um, my god. <laughs> uh, we we were, like, aliens, <laughs> uh, and then like abducted Barok and like made him think that his brother like died and like it convinced everybody in London that they were like this is like a serial killer, right? But in oh reality, shit! Wait, 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 wait. What if? What? what if? What if? Clint is even fucking dead. He's on the fucking run. I can't believe hey, that oh? is Barok's apprentice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that might be wild, though. Oh yeah, new head, new head cannon. Clint's alive. He's in America. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> He, he made it there before he, the Titanic happened. He so got tired of all this British bullshit. And he's like, you know what? I'm not gonna do this anymore. I'm, I gotta get out of here. He said, I'm an American now. He's like, you know what? <laughs> his name's Scott Summers now. <laughs> Scott? Clint Van Zeeks, no. My name is Scott Summers. That man owns a plantation in Louisiana. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is apart from in one newspaper. He lives in Japan, Fornica. You're so true. You're so right, Donald. Real. <laughs> um, so I brought. The... So I brought back my Osiria post on Tumblr. Keith von Zammers. Keith von Zammers. <laughs> oh, Keith. Keith. You're my favorite white guy from America, from Louisiana, even. My name is Keith von Zammers. I like. I own this here plantation. And these are my boys. Oh no. <laughs> no, no, no. We got Cletus. <laughs> no, no, no. We got Toby. And can't forget about old Jezebel. Jezebel. <laughs> She's, She's my favorite. She's whole gang with him. Jezebel's my favorite. She's in the house. <laughs> Damn. What's Keith, you kind of automatic, huh? Keith, this, this is wrong, Keith. Well, now what's <laughs> wrong? I'm just putting them to good use. Keith! <laughs> Keith! <laughs> now we gonna simmer down. Wow, <laughs> Keith is down. You're gonna, something's gonna happen if you keep this bit going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get so, cold. So, uh, <laughs> the Debbie Circus is it the paper show from which the Daily Circus have already my life. Me to be honest. You said this full name was only publicized in that article. Goodness me, yes, there here it is. The university student whose experience is shocking the event is Mr. Enoch Reba. Judge, why don't you stop speaking? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what, what? What? You can't just speak kidding. to me that way? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. This is my, you know what? Deported. <laughs> Why did he point at me though? He's deported. He's like, you can't do that. Yes, I can. Cool. He's like, deported. Both of you deported. <laughs> Looks like Tuss spells deported. Deported. I just got. Any more? Any more? She sounds just like, I just got back. Uh, oh, now you're just all gonna leave. A disciple of the science of the wait, that's better voice. A disciple of the science of the University of London, a resident of the student of dorms. Unbelievable. Jimothy Hughes' disciple is such a wagon as tail. Who's munching? That's Becky. Susato is eating. Oh. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Deport these. Deport these, bro. When I read the article, I went to meet with the man. His discovery of the condemned criminal coming back to life in the cemetery the dead of night would make a perfect exhibit for my house of horrors, whether it was a huge or not. Damn, Professor was got four, huh? I see. Oh. So you want to be Easter Rebel and one sculpt the work. What is this? Uh, yep. Yeah. What? Did you yep. finish that sentence? Yep. Or... I did. Okay. Exactamente. He was studying science at the University of London in those days. He was just a poor student. I paid him five pounds to model for the work. Okay, Since okay. Time, it has been in my museum to recreate the scene of terror from the cemetery. Flash oh, bang. that was her final. Ah! Flashbang. Ah! Flashbang. <laughs> 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 
Hi. Hi. Okay, well that was her that was her little story. So so oh. ten years ago, a young man appealed to the public about its ex about the public. So ten years ago, a young man appealed appeared to the court. So ten years ago, a young man appealed to the court. To the what am I talking about? So ten years ago, a young man appealed to the public about an extraordinary event he witnessed. A criminal who had been put to death, reemerging from his grave in the middle of the night. But the public trans treated this claim as nothing more than a using anecdote that was soon forgotten. Ten years later, the same man sees a wet work model for, of an executed criminal. Gonna bite when Austin, in his face. Don't hurt me. Austin is believed to use a body double for the victim in the case he was discussing here today. Even so, though the wet work bill is a poor match for the victim, and his face is obscured by a mask. So the question is... Is Austin obscured by a mask? My mom! So the question is, why would the man do such a thing? <laughs> oh, muscle man. Which brings us to three days ago, when the birdcage crashed in the crystal tower. The birdcage, in fact, contains not the body of Mr. Asman, but the same waxwork. A coroner from Scotland Yard who investigated the dark side would be noticed immediately. And yet, she submitted this autopsy report for the victim, which the court has been seen earlier. Why? Uh, you know, Skate. He's so good. He's so good. He's so in his element. He just starts cooking and he doesn't realize it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. My goat! <laughs> he in his bag for real. Because the waxwork was that of the professor. Is that what you're saying? Probably. Yeah. I decided to put her name in the document confirming the death, the death of a condemned criminal who was still alive. A criminal whose apparent resurrection witnessed by Mr. Drever. That month's conduct was deadly to secret in the corner would do anything to protect. Which is precisely what Mr. Drebber is a particular wax worker's body double. Oh! Hey, buddy's still tweaking. You good, man? You need a break? My lord! No. This court must summon the side to the stand. The defense is determined Whoa. to find out exactly how the corner and Mr. Drebber are connected. Ooh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Woo. Yeah, I'm Woo. calling him to the stands. Woo. Oh, baby. Let's go! That's what I'm oh, talking judge, about. I'm, I'm judge. That's why he's but a horrible missive I received this morning to the prosecutor's office. I'm sorry I was unable to participate in the proceedings. Is that not the case? I don't care. Bring her in. Me too, Taco. She told so herself, didn't she? Bless her. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember shit, Susano. What did you say to me? <laughs> My mind's fuzzy, I can't. I... Man, remembering, remembering's hard. Yeah, I, I remember I, that. I heard, I heard a lot of mumbling. I, I, Susano, I, I'm, gonna, I, I'm gonna wing it. I think that's like genuinely weird. That's his POV. He doesn't really listen to anybody, so that's what he hears. <laughs> Just blacks out. <laughs> <laughs> Just goes wide eyed and blacks out, like, huh? See, huh? Uh, Something like happened that night. That killer's execution ten years ago. And surely nobody would want to get to the bottom of that one more. More than Lord Van Zykes. Barack? Obama. <laughs> Obama, Obama, <laughs> Obama, 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 Obama. The prosecution, the prosecution calls for the instructions of that missive to be scrapped. <gasps> oh! He can't. Okay. Anything but, for his big brother. Lord Van don't ever come between a bro con and his brother, bro. Come on. Alright, hey, hey, hey! Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa! I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know, you may. I know we're after hours and all, but. <laughs> we are after hours. Wrong. After dark. You can do whatever you say, but the evidence is there sitting right in front of me. He is breaking the law because Rinosuke is bringing up a point about the man that killed his brother. Who else would do that but a bro con? Someone our brother? He wants to know. He wants to know so bad. Becky, <laughs> you, you're a piece of work. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> anyway, the assigned <laughs> prosecutor has the final say on any policy in my part in the particular trial. <laughs> the other thing, the trial. 
Taco gets it. She knows what I'm talking about. Bro, yeah, I, I know what you're that. talking about. Come on. I said my line, by the way. So... <laughs> That's not me. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Bam, 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 beeps. You didn't say yes. I did say yes. He did say yes. <laughs> did he yawned? Whatever. No, I said. I just said yes. I didn't hear it. Oh. Right. Let Enoch Dreb and Doctor Seath take both the stand together. <gasps> oh my God, Enoch! And they were my bestie, Enoch. Enoch. <laughs> order, order, order! Very well, I'll uphold your request. Uh, it's me, the judge. Bill of sending a subpoena with the immediate <laughs> effect arrest to Doctor Seath for the decision he. He like just became lucid. I think he like, <laughs> just tuned in. <laughs> That's me, the judge. <laughs> <laughs> the woman's compelled to attend on her magic's orders. All right then, you must drive her and decide. If they want to cool, if they want collude with one another, this crime would never be committed. I'm just stone throw away. I can feel it. Read us. How does he do it? How does he do it? You know me. The truth behind all of this is about to come out. I mean, that's you so MVP. cool. Thank He's you. He's my goat. So we're all here now, huh? Hey, folks. <laughs> Oh shit! That that that. <laughs> the head, the head scared the shit out of me. Everyone in this courtroom, smash! You're right. You're right. Thank you for your attendance. Thank you for your attendance. But <laughs> short notice. <laughs> Stop. Let's see. Sorry, I was putting my bag of chips away. I didn't get to eat lunch. I'm Thank disappointed you. in you, Lord Van Seeks. Okay. <clears throat> you completely betrayed the great policy of both Scotland Yard and the prosecution's office. Betrayal is not in my nature, as long as the truth isn't compromised. Oh, they've had some history, I know they yeah. have. If it is... If it is, if there's even a hint of wrongdoing, then no matter whom it concerns or disgruntles... Want to get me? I'm well, pursue the matter to the bitter end, as would any prosecutor with assault. Whatever. Oh, what the anyway. fuck? Get over it. What did Enoch sound like? Uh, <laughs> he just sound monotone. Oh, I didn't read. <clears throat> yeah, re Mr. Trevor. Trevor. You took the victim's life by means of a machine that you corrupted from your workshop. Damn, we got some mutes in the stand. And that decides. As the investigation as the as investigated coroner, you were the first on the scene to examine the victim's body. It's the belief of the defense that you collaborated with each other, and we're both complicit in this crime. Was she a bad And where's your hey. evidence? Yeah, she's that bitch. <laughs> At present, we have no defensive evidence. But, oh, you brought back my awesome real piece, bro. We do have a very significant clue. Courtney graduated from the Oh, wait, hold up. Uh, Major in Cantology from the University of Mothering. Okay. We trying to think of what the 16 year olds say today. <laughs> Did you say Courtney's on, by the way? Thank you. <laughs> I'm about to, hold on. What are you talking about? Oh, I think this guy said, "Hold on." <laughs> oh, all right. Well, let's let's go back through the art book. So, I gotta start from the top because I didn't. I was kind of halfway through when I started saying "smash" or "pass." So, Reno Skinnot, hold on, smash. We called the boss Usato. Oh, give her for your smash. Um, not a hold of Ryotaro, smash. Sherlock Holmes, smash. Iris Watson, pass. <laughs> I almost said. Yeah. Woo! You gotta be careful about that shit, bro. They can come for you with uh, YouTube comments again. They would never do that to me. They don't know who I am online. Iris's handmade lucky charms. Uh, Chinoske smash. Um, Wait, this smash. Man, did you see what this man said in the chat? At present, we have no definitive evidence, but we do have a very significant clue. <laughs> uh, Usato. Pass, but because I think she's cute. Uh, Nyasogi. Smash. This man read his line in the chat. <laughs> he has another line though, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I know, I know. 
um, Nyas Disciple Smash, Nyan Zeke Smash, James the Rat Pass. James the Rat um, Smasher Pass, he said. <laughs> Kumai, um, Pass, uh, Usalok Smash. Um, Nyan Zeke Smash. Bayak Van Zeke Smash. Right now, Zag's Van Zeke's shortlist sitting in the chair that Nudie saw drew with one hand smash. Clint Van Zeke's at 21 smash. I said pass on that damn rap, bro. Leave my friend alone. Oh, I respect him. I and I wouldn't. I wouldn't smash a rat. Now, if it was a mouse, I'd be different. You're such a nice guy. James is a mouse! The turtle on Hosanaga's head smash. Anyways, I'm back. Welcome back to <laughs> <laughs> You did have another yeah. line. I'm talking, of course. But the wax work. <gasps> what man, jump scare. Hey. This is model of the killer is known for the present. <laughs> He's got this his blood the... on, I know. This oh, is the model of the killer known as the professor who was sentenced to death ten years ago. She wrote cheetah on the butter. Not the butters. Not the yellow. You don't need to tell me. I witnessed the man's execution with my own eyes and officially pronounced him dead. Me when I lie? That remains to be seen. <laughs> Is that so? According to the newspaper. According to the newspaper. <laughs> according, to the news according to the newspaper reports at the time. <laughs> on the night following his execution. The killer came back to life. What? Oh, we're not scared. <laughs> Don't waste my time. Girl, we can have sassy off right now. Girl, she's so sassy. I'm the sole witness to that mysterious event. Was you, Mr. Trevor, wasn't it? Again, we have mutes in the sand. Who's my saying? Speak, worm! If you saw what you, if you, what you saw in the graveyard like 10 years ago, it wasn't some true fiction, but reality. <laughs> it would make you privy to a very great secret of the dark sides. A secret so profound it could compel the corner to agree to collaborate in your evil scheme, in fact. Evil. <laughs> Mr. Drubber, tell the court. What that has to do? Anyways, tell the tell everyone the truth of what you saw that night in Lowgate Cemetery. You came out of that safe. You know exactly what that ass do, bro. <laughs> hey, it's just, you, you saw it. Oh. You can see the resemblance actually. Get I to wanna be the next person. And, okay. There you oh, go. He's not going to claim that's what he really saw, especially after all these years. <laughs> he was a research student at the University of London, wasn't he? But too clever for his own good. Uh, uh, <laughs> if you ask me. Oh wait, that's him actually. Oh, there you go. Are you? <laughs> the way he do that. <laughs> What an interesting twist. <laughs> when at the time, not one person would take me seriously. Damn, that's crazy. And now here we are, ten years later, and suddenly my story matters. And in a court Imagine. of law- Imagine! That's crazy. Imagine being validated ten years later. <laughs> <That's fucked laughs> it up. doesn't matter anymore! Very well then, if everyone so wishes. Let's go, the steam! I'll tell you the truth of what happened that night for what is <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby! That's what I'm talking about, baby! That's what I'm talking about, baby! Knock out! Bang! We're amongst goths in the courtroom right now. Battle of the Sea Rivers! It was just my dream. It was like a night, a night, a night, ten years ago. You will tell the court exactly what you stumbled across in Lugate Cemetery. <laughs> this man is getting possessed by four different people. <laughs> yes, <laughs> of course, as you were. <laughs> I'm gonna puke. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, baby boy. What you got? The reason I was in Lugate Cemetery all uh... ten years ago was for a spot of moonlighting. Oh, we're we are yeah, getting there. The music's fast. Yes, the illustration in that newspaper article was based on what I witnessed that night. 
Okay. He's back now, I realize. I never actually saw him <laughs> back there. Dude, after <laughs> He's in it by a young woman who sculpted a model of these three eyes. That I gave up on my dream of becoming a scientist. Was it just him? All because of that newspaper article. <laughs> He went ahead by accident and just left. Wait a minute! Yo, you couldn't use an X2 professor now? You bitch! What? How dare you? You can't. Of course. You have to have a screw loose if you. Just like a bubble cut through! But. What did you say? You said it's our clue. Not since the paper is printed on? I think that would describe it perfectly, yes? Arg! <laughs> I think you're- are you a pirate now? Uh-huh. Arg! I've been coming for your booty! Arg! Yarg! Yarg! You're an escape! Let me see that Oh my god! Chill! <laughs> <laughs> What are these eyes? <laughs> if the details in the article aren't really, it's no such statement for why Mr. Drubber and Dr. C would have been there. Fuck! Uh, so he's describing, so he's describing himself to quote my argument. What an asshole. Tell me, oh. witness. You claim to have been in the cemetery on oh, some Arizona business. Can you elaborate? <laughs> Man, the judge is fun, huh? That's right. Grave robbing. Stealing. <laughs> As you know, Lowe's Cemetery is at the rear of Barclay Prison. <laughs> So, among the students at the university, it had a reputation for being haunted by the ghost of condemned convicts. Great, Robbie. You say? Yes. Hey. Exhuming fresh corpses to sell is reasonably lucrative. Of course, I never laid a finger on any valuables buried with the dead. Uh, you are one of the so-called resurrectionists. A particularly unpleasant scourge on society. What's wrong? What's happening? <laughs> ah, surely, my fellows and I went by another name, the Repurposers. What the fuck okay. is he talking about? What are they after the boat? Everybody, I have to go to the bathroom. So, oh. you can either continue without me or, I don't know, talk about whatever you want. I'll be back. I. Back in my day, we used to have. Oh. I, I couldn't think of anything funny to say, I'm sorry. You can stop right there, Judge. Stop right there. You'll be yapping long enough. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you think this is a game? You think this is funny? This is my courtroom! Mm -hmm. If I wanna yap, I can yap what I want. My mom said so. How old are you? Yo, man, I don't worry about all that. Mm. I'm important. Twelve. Um, twelve hundred. Mm, fifty-seven. Actually, how old is he? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> is he in the court record? Hold on. Is he in the court record, Chad? I don't think Do so. Do we have the- we don't have the judge- we don't know the judge's age! Usually, I, I thought there'd be a judge here. No, it doesn't matter. Ain't nobody worried about him. <laughs> I'm just assuming that he's, like, in his fifties. Ah, oh, Osby to his uh, being 47 and having no gray hair, that's insane. What happened? Huh? We're talking about yeah. how old the judge was. I, I oh. said he was 12. <laughs> he sure acts like it. He thinks this what is the game. What the fuck? See? You're not being mean to me, this is my courtroom. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna mm -hmm. deport it. Oh, don't do that. I'm sorry. I retract my statement. That's what I thought. Okay. <laughs> Continue! That... That is quite beyond the pale. You would invite the virus sir? Oh, so you didn't... Okay. 
We did not. We we're just yapping. Thank you. Uh, yes. Well, I think I suffered retribution or not. The Daily Circus eventually unearthed my name and put it in for. Dang, you have your article posted in the Daily Circus? I mean, he like, of course nobody's gonna believe you. Yeah, he literally got docs. Uh. <clears throat> it caused me a great many headaches. In the end, I had to leave the university. Dang, that's so sad. That's honestly yeah. insane. Yeah, for Couldn't real. Be personally. Yeah, the... yeah, trauma, no wonder his hair turned white. Oh, she and She and <laughs> that was the only paper with the bad grace to identify me unambiguously. Yeah. I see. Nyaruhoro? Out of interest, who drew the illustration for this article? Ah, yes, that was the reporter who exposed me. He stopped right in front of me as I described the scene. Vekibu, I believe? Oh, yes. Obviously, as time ticked on, I bitterly regretted what I had done. EXPOSE HIM! Claiming to have seen something I never <coughs> really saw. Foolish. Very foolish. Oh, Enoch. Bro! I'm in love with you. Well, counsel for the defense, you may proceed to the cognomination now. I first is the voice. You are the voice, my lord! Hey buddy, how's Let's... it going? How are you doing this afternoon? Let's get it. Let's get this bread. <laughs> By moonlighting, bread. you mean grey robbing, do you? Surely you need only look at the graveyard scene and my appearance to gauge the answer to that. The lantern and spade. They're Fast. Who on earth would want to be buy a dead body? Oh, uh, you know, legenders are kind of crazy. Cannibals. A man named Jack. <clears throat> Any major hospital? A hospital? In order to better understand the human body, the study of anatomy is crucial to medical science. But there isn't a hospital in the world that has enough specimens to work with. Though obviously they can't openly express an interest in obtaining more by dubious means. As aspiring scientists, we young research students had no money to work with, as I'm sure you can imagine. Well. Uh oh. So we made. Serendipitous arrangements with a Sorry, I lost blood. <laughs> Via some of our medical student acquaintances. We will never take anything of value from the graves. This was all for the furtherance of science, you see. That's what we all told ourselves every time we stole into the graveyard at night. Speed in hand. <clears throat> you realize body snatching is a serious crime. If you were caught, you could expect the gravest of consequences. Why does my little puppy under his chin? <laughs> <laughs> we students were caught between the hammer and the anvil. We needed funds for research. Where's your hair? It's exactly the same thing. I'm quite speechless at the apparent levity of the, the levity, whatever, with which you've revealed a poor behavior. My bad, Your Honor. How many died, Judge? Who gives a fuck? Like, are we trying to solve that instead of whatever happened after they died? Who cares? My goodness. Well, if you wanted to know why I was there at Lowgate Cemetery, that's the reason. But I never expected it to end the way it did. That I regret to this day. A strange happening at Logan Cemetery, which you not deny. <clears throat> not entirely. I ran to fetch the police at the time, you know. I was shaking like a leaf. But they didn't believe a word of it. 
fact, I was very nearly arrested myself. So you went to the papers and said? I started big with the London news, but unsurprisingly, they didn't want to know either. In the end, though, it was a fortress in the gossip rags, the gutter press that came to get my story. It spread like the plague through the capital as gossip under Londoners laughed up the tale. The story was in every single paper at the time, with the exception of some broadsheets. And yet only two or three of them actually interviewed me personally. Most of the accounts turned out to be very perfect of ghost stories. What, what, <clears throat> what about the article in the, in, the, in the Daily Circus? I started my ass off. In the clown. That particular journalist found me at my dormitory. I don't know how, but he discovered my name. So I recounted him exactly that it happened that night. From the description, he saw his, 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 his illustration. Facts. <laughs> He's a star. That's how I learned from the condemned man, was the infamous professor. Because the reporter told me so. I had no idea myself, you see. Newspaper reporters aren't wont to stoop around in matters that don't concern them. So the scene portrayed by the illustration is accurate then? Well... Well, the date there are coming up and happening. Boy! Oh. Huh? Hey, Oreo? I, I, I saw something. Uh, the ghost or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the visions. The visions? What are you talking about, fella? Or should I say, feller? <gasps> no way. I think I explained already, didn't I? The Lowgate Cemetery is at the rear of Barclay Prison. So it was renowned among us students at the university for being haunted by the ghosts of condemned onwards. For some absurd reason I was scared of the graveyard at night, and as a result only too willing to believe the nonsense about the dead coming back to life. Gabe Serenos gave dialogue by accident. <laughs> but you say you saw it, but you say you actually saw it. I fucking lied, dumbass. After all. Oh, fuck! I said what I'd seen in my mind's eye. Third eye what? Resurrection. Yeah. You can no longer rob graves due to wall. <laughs> After all, resurrection is impossible, isn't it? You'd have to be unhinged to think otherwise. Unless, of course. Yes. We have some evidence I don't know. That I encountered the professor. Is there then? anything material evidence that could show he really did to the professor? I was gonna stick before I fucking finish saying anything. I thought you finished. I'm so tired. Oh my bad, my bad. Susan, my bad. Way I was getting there. If you have anything at all, Mister Mahodo. I know, I pretended to get that irritatingly backtracking statement of his. The point is, that night was a pivotal moment in my life. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh my god. Uh oh. <laughs> this guy didn't press that statement, I see. <laughs> Which one? The next one. Oh! Are you thinking of oh. presenting or should we just. No, I'll check them out. I okay. already pressed the next statement. That young woman being made of spells, of course. Precisely. I must say, I didn't expect to run into her again like this ten years later. Well, I trust spells. Been a long As time. I explained, I went by the name published in the article and. Kongsga found the map. Yes, the article in the Daily Circus, I think you said... 
I was a poor student with barely a penny to my name. We get it, you're broke! Broke bitch, I mean, sometimes I think I'm talking about how broke they are. I unemployed friend on Tuesday at 2 a.m. <laughs> hey, it's me! And the young lady put five pounds in front of me. So you readily can stented to having a wax look of yourself made and gave permission to quit, to be honest. I did. I should sell what I had to sell, I concluded. Ah, wait, I remember now. I purchased something else on me that day. Yes, see how? Looks like a smudge sponge on her hand. Did you? I can't say I remember. What was it, madam? His camera? His oh. camera? Ah! His camera? Ah. Wait a second. Oh. There's yes. blood on that camera. I made a point of taking it with me whenever I made an excursion to any cemetery. Sorry. You took a cam with you, sir. To what end? To record the details of the bodies I disinterred. I see. But I had no intention of ever visiting a graveyard again after that night, so I sold it. Hmm, I see. But I still have it, Monsieur. It is part of this special exhibit in my house of war. She hasn't realized that. Ma'am, we stole away. that thing! I have, I have it in my pocket here! Not such details. It is the Tespel's way. You didn't realize that we stole it! I have it right here, Mrs. Matahoto. Thanks, Sato. <laughs> I'll always count on you. It would seem, then, that this is the very camera Mr. Drebber took with him to locate cemetery of my in question. Yes, interesting. They oh, said the camera okay. has been updated in the court record. That's nice. That's for you, then, huh? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Hold on, last... folks. What do you think? Are you checking it? Or... Wait, are you resting or are you pressing? I'm just thinking real quick before I press, press the last one. Okay. <laughs> Actually, looks at my guide. Um, hmm. Ooh. Did you look Thoughts. at the, the, the image of the guide I sent you? I, I did. Did you like it? No. Why? Oh. There's nothing going on there! So? I didn't like the vibes. What's wrong with the vibes? How do you know he's, he's not, you know, the guide isn't Enjoying their time with a nicer woman. <laughs> Who I, I look, whoever he, whoever he's with, I know he's enjoying his time. Oh, he definitely was. Oh. Oh my gosh. <clears> Out <throat> my back. All right, pressing the last statement. I got my oh, answer to my guide now. I know exactly what do time comes. <laughs> Another hint if you want. This article, you mean? Post in the Daily Circus? Yes, somebody informed the Dean that it was my name that appeared in the article. And carelessly he let sit that night after night, I was digging up grave. Hardly a model student, you might say. The university's reputation was. Exactly. Oh, uh, Abby, I never got I trust this last statement either in one of my playthrough. Becky um, said, I know what's going on already. Yeah, <laughs> I, think I, was, I think I was, like, very eager to, like, finish the case, so... I'm like, I know what's happening! Mon dieu, yeah. I had no idea. And having been a run out of university, you found employment in a somewhat specialist trade. <laughs> For... Dang! Let's see about, uh, let's see about, hold up. Okay now. You combine your knowledge of science with knowledge of stage magic. To 
create very experimental machines that are demonstrating the never before seen technology. And you use those deceptive machines to the government, to private investors to give you money. Is that true? We'll find out. Professor Albert Harebrain was your latest victim, wasn't he? You caught him slipping. Whatever are you talking about? I have I'm no yapping. She's not doing anything of the sort. Husbands is gone. Oh no, she's not. She's just standing so far away What's from. What's Jim up to? So funny. Why would he <laughs> suddenly change his tune and recant his claim? Because he hates me. I wonder if perhaps it's because his circumstances changed now. I guess. <laughs> oh wait, that was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I read the. <laughs> I'm blacking out. <laughs> help, help me. What circumstances? <laughs> well, if he admits to having seen the professor emerging alive from his grave ten years ago, he expose a secret in Doctor C's past that would, uh, would desperately. That she would desperately want to hide. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Jerver and Dr. South work together now. If they ever saw that we were trying to betray her, there'd be no reason for her to continue cooperating. In that case, there's only one way to round it. I can prove he really did see it. Prove he really did see the first corpse coming back from the dead, as they originally claimed. I did yes, it. Mr. Nadahodo, exactly. Well, good for you. I'm so cute and smart with it. Uh, I have to remember now. Hold on. Uh, question mark. I can help you, Becky. <laughs> Anyone thinking? <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking. What about you, Tarina? I'm thinking. As much as I can. Which one it is, but I have to remember the evidence. So let me see. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So quiet. Yo! Okay, so I'm just gonna guess. Man, <sighs> you want to just default to guessing. <laughs> yeah, let me get my one free guess out. Let me get my one free my one free you, guess. You've gotten too many free guesses, bro. Nah, nah, that was always that was other streams. This is this is it's a new free it resets every stream. If you guess now, I'm not gonna let you guess for anything else after this. Oh <laughs> wait, it's not fair. <laughs> what? Oh brother. Okay, Abby, L lay it on me, because I don't remember which one it was. Don't worry, I already had a typed out girl. Help. Send it to me by accident. <laughs> I made sure I didn't send it to you by accident, because I'm sending you images on desktop, I'm writing to Vecchi on my phone. Gee whiz, how efficient. She started Ah, uh, okay, I had it, I just, I had it, I presented the wrong thing. I, oh. I I presented something. I think I presented something ahead of time that needs to be presented later. It's a bit kind of. Mm -mm -mm. I, I was just like, hmm, I don't know. Like I thought about like, ha, but they keep saying like it's just self-explanatory, so I wouldn't know. Yeah, it feels like it's it's too like too obvious. 
that that's literally why, because I think then they do the whole, like, well, tell us why it's this. Ah, uh, they want you to go more into detail, and then... I see, I see, I see, it makes sense. Alright, The man, by the way. Mm hmm. Excuse me, just remember what statement Ryunosuke and Susato were really, like, raises eyebrows at. I don't. You don't know. That you don't know? <laughs> You're not saying you pressed the same thing, Ryunosuke and Susato were like, that's so weird. Why would he just backtrack like that? That's literally what they said, so. Have to get her bag of chips out of here. It's not my bag of chips. Let's throw something away. <laughs> oh, I didn't do it again. I hit the wrong button. The wrong button. <laughs> I I presented something wrong. Something wrong too. So I got a swipe. So I was just like, was it this? I hate Ryudosuke. Got it! Ugh. <laughs> okay, he got it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> totally, totally didn't guess, by the way. Whatever. I will let you guess. No, he guessed the first time and then he's like, no, nah, I got it. Sorry, Mr. Driver, but I don't believe that. I call mm -hmm. Cap, Your Honor. Believe what? It laid his claim. You did see the first one that night, ten years ago. Mm. Oh dear. We do seem to be at odds. But I was there, and you were not. I know what I didn't see. The illustration was this article. Was drawn based upon what you told the journalist that you that, that, that you witnessed. Mr. Drepper's Drepper. A figure emerged from the tomb wearing an iron mask. <laughs> yes, when the killer was tried ten years ago, it was decided in the closed court's ruling that the man would wear the mask to hide his identity. It wasn't to be removed even during his execution and subsequent burial. Didn't have to be a metal mask, but okay. Stream. Not even oh, a prison awesome. warrant would see that man's face. But obviously, the provision was a mask was not public knowledge. So, Mr. Drubber, as you just heard. <laughs> an old student of the University of London certainly wouldn't have known about the condemned man's mask. So, unless you were actually seen the person that night. It's inconceivable. The artist would have included the mask in that illustration. Oh, got him. That and Suspo is practicing at six feet apart. Six feet below. Them. Order, order. Well, Mr. Drebber. It's a violent scene, isn't it? If you look closer. God, he's like, actually. And. I had yes. already been at pains to point out I was utterly petrified. How much longer this case is over, by the way? Depends well. on how quickly you can think of the solution. Shit! I'm stupid! This is <laughs> why I had it in Like, we're getting it. there! We're, we're, we're so. almost there, but we have to get past, like, two more parts. Yeah. We're not having an intermission or anything like that. Like, we literally just have to get to this taco. <laughs> yeah, there, there will be no to be continues after this. It's literally just... Yeah, we're going straight through to the end. Okay, okay. Assuming Where are we at, no by the way? I said rubber's line, so it's on the other screen. Okay. You... You still think you didn't see it? But, uh... Oh, wait. Oops. I didn't progress through even though I read my line, LMAO. <laughs> but if you're stubbornly sticking to that story witness, then amend your testament to explain exactly how you think your eyes deceived you. Of course, of course. I'm too happy to oblige. I 
can't believe he's still not going to oh, the point. Oh my god. Remember, he's, he's, he's stubborn. He's, he's, a, he's yeah. a bit too stubborn with his testimony, where he's, he does not fold. He won't <laughs> fold. You cannot keep him to fold. He's got his numb EPAF. <laughs> Alright, what you mean by that? No, I'm talking about when I press this thing. Oh. Why he keep, he always goes through? <laughs> I feel a great robber. What are you talking about? I need to press L1. I ain't playing fun. <laughs> well, I wasn't the only one busy in the cemetery that night, you know. Other body snatchers were at work. Of course, when I saw one emerging from the hole he broke, my heart very nearly stopped. But that's the terrifying sight I actually saw, you see. What? <laughs> what? You're what claiming you talking about? another student on equally insalubrious business as yourself? Many of the medical students would wear metal masks to protect them from bacteria during the second. What? <laughs> That's okay. Eight hundred. Clearly, really, the fellow was using such a mask to protect his anonymity. What did you say? That doesn't make sense. There's more to the story, isn't there? Better goes on to say. In the next second, a gun sight rang suddenly from the behind. The little pierced the resurrected man's chest, whose breath then filled with more. Enough, we might be out it. Oh. We might assume that it's sexton and it's covered. <laughs> Miscreants at work, perhaps, and I fired, a part, I fired one of them, fuck them, I don't care. If a grave digger had such oh. a shot in the cemetery, I think it might have been rather big news, my lord. Ah, oh, yes, well. I can only assume it was an in- Hello! Oh, ooh! spells! Working on that shoulder, I see! Excuse me! Medical spells! Don't take it out on Mr. Shoulder. She's like- <laughs> Oh la la! Pardon! I was lost in my socks. Would it be fair to say that Mr. Drebber was last remark? Was it different to you in some way? He's like, that's something really a little strange, that's all. How Monsieur Trevor could claim this now. Damn. Don't mind me saying, madam. What are you talking about? Well, when I met you ten years ago at the University Dormitory, you recounted to me about your adventures in a cemetery, no? Including the gunshot. Stop! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Uh-oh! You might want to watch your oh! team, you know. <laughs> Can somebody who's not me say something? <laughs> yeah! Hey. That's no way to speak to a lady. <laughs> I, know you're not I'm, I know you're not talking! Respects right? women? Since when? Barak has not disrespected a woman once. Matter of fact, he respects women so much he will not have sex with them. That's how much he respects them. Whatever. Please, them test bells, carry on. <laughs> Of course. According to what Monsieur Jabba told me at the time, he did hear a gunshot from behind him and the bullet hit the condemned man. He said nothing of the sort. What is he from the show? Uh, <laughs> Mom, you were very explicit about the details. About that mask the figure was wearing. And the blood that spattered over you when he was shot. Enough! Um, shut up, woman! You're making all this up! He told her to shut up. Yeah. That's not how you respect women. Judge! Oh, I, I didn't read. I didn't read. I'll leave you read. She read. I read all of that. That will yeah. do! Mr. Drebber! Yeah? Yes? Uh, 
Oh, shit, Judge? No. <laughs> I didn't hear you, I didn't hear you, I didn't hear you. <laughs> You're not paying attention! We're never getting through. <laughs> so be... close in this guy, this guy. I, 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 look, I, look, I have an excuse, I'm blacking out. I gotta get give you some slack here. You refute the account and just give me my little tusk panels. I have no recollection of ever saying those things. Come on, do you really expect us to believe you? Control of counsel, I wouldn't permit the baseless like... accusations in my courtroom. Oh, uh, the way he like the back. That's, uh, right. I love this. Right. Under circumstances, I think it's best to something with your testimony without statement to clarify your position on this witness. Oh, no, no. very well. Barak just mm -hmm. really wants to know what happened to. Okay, you know what? You can either, you know, <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is obvious. I presented, by the way, to Rumi. If you want, you can just if present. If you want to present. <laughs> I think this what, is pretty what? obvious. What? Oh, wait, yeah. Read, read the statement. <laughs> he even reading. He was like, oh, I can't see you. Oh, my God. I presented. I, it's I obvious. Too. It's reading. very obvious, because you literally said something about it earlier, too. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Does it know? Oh, I pressed the ring and I didn't mean it. I hit the wrong button. Oh, no. I hit the wrong button. I'm skipping, I'm, I'm skipping. I'm, 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 we didn't say anything. You can't, you you can't, can't skip. Though, has testified that you told her not true. I said I'm, nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm mashing, I'm mashing, I'm mashing, I'm mashing, I'm mashing. I'm mashing. Not much real evidence to the contrary. You have no grounds on which to prove the witness's thingy. <laughs> Tell me about the test spells. A we? What exactly did Mr. Drebber say about the blood that apparently spattered on him? Alors, this is what he told me. All of a sudden, he heard a very loud gunshot from behind his back. The bullet hit the figure who was emerging from the tomb in the middle of the chest. Bobby, body. what are you reading? <laughs> One dreadful sight out to another. Bobby! Mr. Drebber, after he was up the time, facing towards the condemned Jesus. man. The blood sprayed from the wound and spattered on his body. That is what he told me. So, not an experience you would ever forget, is it? Precisely, and I didn't forget it because, as I've already said, it never happened in the first place. He's clearly lying. If only I had some evidence to prove it. We can't let him win, Mr. Naruhodo. So we have to look a single detail. I was looking at turning the stream. Nothing scrolling over the evidence. <laughs> I, 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 I couldn't I find the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't find the camera, man. Mr. Drebber, do you remember this camera? No. No. Oh, my bad. But is that easy camera off on the fateful night? No, I yes. can't. <laughs> Drebber said nothing and Tess was like, oh my god! Yes, we stole it from the House of Horrors. It's the camera you took with you from the cemetery that night, Mr. Drebber. And that is supposed to be significant? Well... This kind of camera is really seen in our homeland, so my colleague and I were keen to examine it closely. We just wanted to have it on our own. We noticed that it landed center forward at the end of some bellows. Like this. Oof! Uh-oh! Oh, <gasps> Ooh, I've never heard it! <sighs> but wow! That's not talking about. What's that? There, just on the bellows. Looks like the dark red stain. Oh, Sarah! Oh. That's right. It's a rather conspicuous mark here on the bell's effect. Good lord, are you suggesting? Yeah, I am. Yes, my lord. It would appear to be a splatter of blood. Something that could be confirmed with a simple chemical test. Isn't that right, Dr. C? It would be difficult to determine if it was human blood and not the blood of some animal. Lamar. But yes, to test whether or not its blood is uh, at all is simple enough. Alright, I propose that Mr. Test Benefits was testimony was correct. And then on that in question ten years ago, you were spattered with blood from the gunshot wound. That's quite traumatizing, that uh, I And then furthermore, you really did witness the commanding professor emerging from this tomb. 
There's simply no way you could have forgotten such a traumatic experience. I, he locked it away. But I, In other words, the little explanation is that you're trying to hide the fact that you saw the presser that night. But why? Why I'm would you go to do the that? Bedroom. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> so I've been noticing the Avatar Destiny's getting pulled. <laughs> what? Somebody's fighting the Avatar Destiny. Finally! I was like, Taco needs to fight the Avatar Destiny. Because One, two, I three, can't. Four. Taco's gonna get it down to like 13. <laughs> But with uh, has to wait on the tickets to replenish. <laughs> Taco's like, I need that shit in the, ch the street. LMAO. Taco in the cookie run. Taco's beating the Avatar Destiny thing. Look at I'm helping oh, this more, guy. More VTuber drama. Why? Some some girl berated another artist's commission. Uh, Oh, I saw that. I didn't she know she got. was a VTuber, though. I was a VTuber. Yeah. Once. <laughs> Hello. <Where are> you? <laughs> He's lying. <laughs> I, I was. <laughs> Where are you? What's? Where was your bottle? I was a dog. A puppy. Yes. Nice. I was yeah. a puppy once. All right, let's get this party started for our pass out. Oh please. Oh, yes. Stand up! You gotta stand up, actually. Get rid of that chair. <laughs> I am standing up. Oh, Help! The bark is noggin or something. Okay, I read Barrock's line, by the way. Okay. Well, not for his own gain, who team? Lose then. Who could benefit? OJ Simpson. Mr. Drubber is alive, is he lying? Uh, uh, rip, 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 Oh my goodness! He showed him someone? Oh! Oh! Yes, my lord. They're both like- Hey, they're both That's looking great. It's kinda funny. It's someone who doesn't want the truth about this process to come back to life. Be exposed. Well, who was it then? What do you mean? <laughs> my lord, you fool. The answer is obvious. Bohemian boy! God! It all goes back to Bohemian boy, huh? Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> it's the uh -huh. Bohemian boy. The young Ooh. prince from royal family of Bohemia with the excessive long name who witnessed the explosion of the Great Exhibition! He's 11, by the way. What? By two. <laughs> he was just one when it all happened. It's Courtney! The obvious, the obvious answer is stuck aside. Why all the bad bitches go to prison? <laughs> it's true. Protect what? me! Whatever do you mean? I mean she's going to hell. Wait Imagine a minute! Imagine she's been sent to death was not in fact killed. Wait, wait, wait! I wanted to- So I got this question wrong because I wanted to see the dialogue, but it's really cute what Susato says. She's like, fear not, Mr. Nagahodo, I'll shield you even if I mu must lie, if I must lie to do it. I'll Thank tell you. them that such a terrible mistake is completely out of character. Because <laughs> it is, uh, me wrong, I'm gonna wrong really. to see what happens. Alright, I'm gonna get back on track for a moment. Taco, you would never go on Cookie Run Strike. And if you did, I would too. What? Why? Just does. Cause I've been oh. I should go on strike too, she doesn't want beauty for the kill. Speaking of gotcha games, I started playing Brave Souls again. Oh yeah? Brave Souls. Yeah. What are you insinuating? And imagine- Ryan! I- 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 Okay! Ryan! And imagine the oh. common question was the country's most hated mass murderer. If it was a professor, that, that would be a precedent scandal. Ooh, I'll stand up with. 
square? This is beyond a joke. Need I point out that the dead cannot come back to life? Prove it! What you're suggesting would mean that the execution never actually happened. Another government yeah, secret out of the exactly like You don't have to say objection. Once a man is sent to the gallows, he hangs. No one could escape, not even in Great Britain. Oh, 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 oh! Back and forth. The fact is, there was a witness to the fact that he, the man did escape despite how he's hanging. If there were really true cops with implications of misconduct, we'd have some supervising, supervising coroner. It would take the honor of the entire judiciary from the ground up. And that's being better your job, couldn't be personally. Or it's exactly you... though, because of the monumental repercussions. The other side would consent to the, any demand made for it by someone who's starting to expose secret. Even if that meant being complicit in a crime. You. you mean. I'm gonna have to side with Quality Mr. Rappers with a scheme. She was coarse in collaborating in order to protect her deceased decade old secret. She just did one of her Aspen with the electric bottle, fabricating the autopsy report. Uh. You guys. Oh, okay. She didn't even move an inch. He was like, <laughs> what? Lord, Lord Van Zeeks? Damn. He fucking got Oh yeah. Pray, forgive my freshly filled hallowed chalice. When? When did you do that? Purposes now. He did it last. Goodness me! Bit my tongue. It's just the sort of tall tale Londoners would enjoy. I grant you. Okay. Executed killer rising from the dead. A god of yard cover up. A conspiracy at the highest levels. So let me ask you one thing. What's up, man? If the condemned man really did emerge from his tomb that night only to be shot in the chest, who pulled the trigger? And uh, disposed of him forever? Uh, this, uh, 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 well, I have no idea at the moment. I do, it's Clint. <laughs> we have too little information to work that out at present, I think. I, I couldn't agree more. Like, oh, okay, okay, okay. The old Bailey is no place for wild fantasies. Oh. Uh. <laughs> and have you considered this, my lonely Bernice friend? Oh shit. <laughs> Yeah. Consider what? Do you realize just what a dangerous endeavor it would be to coerce this woman into such criminal activity? It's tantamount to declaring war on the entire British police force and judiciary. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what? It's hard to imagine any sum of money being offered for research will be. I missed him! I love him, he's a favorite. To rely on stage deception when such a mistake could be in madness. Well, well, I suppose. And this was no petty crime either. The victim was murdered. Moidoid! It was a moidum. A moidum. A man would already murder man, murder man. money in the venture and would be instrumental in future profits too. Yes, I had no reason to kill Mr. Osman at all. Oh, uh, yeah? he, called he called your mama or, a bitch you took it personally. Are you forgetting what this death results in me receiving not a single penny? The court is already aware of the contract between myself and the victim, though. Forge. We might have to take a look at that contract hmm. again. Give me that. There is the contract, it's very true. Hmm. There's a motor for that case that runs deep through. I can feel it in my bones! Using threats to force the head of the forensic investigation team to uh, cooperate is extreme. Especially for a government grant he had no guarantee of receiving in the first place. The research giant grant was aimed at taking Mr. Asim's life would have made no sense anyway. Which means... Sir Trevor's motive wasn't money at all. He was just trying to kill Mr. Aspen. Why? He called him ugly. What was his motive then? 
Your time is up, my learned friend. Oh yeah? Let's see. You have one last chance before the jury lose their patience with the charade. Bet. Charade? Egad. Shut up. Okay. Well, see if we can back up your heating proposal, shall we? Whoa! <laughs> oh! Good job, Timothy! You said you could fool him! He missed it! Why? Timothy, <laughs> with the dodge. How do you explain why this engineer would throw all caution to the wind and threaten his own country? Now, at this point, I'm oh, prepared to listen to more of this outlandish conjecture about proof. So, Council, present your evidence. He's looking up the wine drops on his glove. He's on the floor right now. Alright. Oh Who looks like it was Mr. Aspen to Trevor? They were lovers. There's a connection Come on. that no one's <laughs> seen yet. And I'm going to have to present two pieces of evidence to show what, they, what it is. Two. I don't know, I don't know nothing for real. <laughs> yes, my lord. I don't love it. The evidence Ew, established the motor plane explains why the witnesses with one of the victims dead right here. Man! I mean, does it have to be in a specific order? Because... I already know, and I already presented the first piece. So... Yeah... Okay, the answer is- it's, it's quite simple, really. The answer is... Armband. The, the waxwork head and the armband. Yeah. The evidence wow. establishes a motive and explains why the witness wanted to evict them dead is right here. Is it, man? It is. You looked at it very obviously. You are like, oh, I don't know. What? This was way earlier, by the way. Oh, shit. <laughs> and I said, how interesting. Maybe you could look at everything. Again. Or do you want me to narrow it down yeah. for you? No, I can <laughs> narrow it down for you. I got, I got, I got the shit. 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 Okay, he's okay I got it. I got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Evidence sex levels and motive explains why the witnesses wanted to be dead right there. Ugh. Okay, let's just. It can't be the armband. It can't be. The... <laughs> it's not. It can't be the Great Exhibition newspaper. Can't be the sketch. Can't be the crossbow. Can't be the cloth. Can't be the victim photograph. Can't be the autopsy report. Can't be the screwdriver. Can't be the balloon. Can't be the dripper photograph. Can't be the birdcage. Hmm. Can't be the camera. Maybe. I don't know. We'll come back to that. Can't be the glass. I. It, it surely can't be the science trophy. Can't be the webcook head. Yeah, autopsy report. Mm hmm. No, no, why would it be? No, surely not. Can't be this photograph right there. Maybe. It's new, so probably. Well, I still got my one free guess, right, guys? You already guessed. No, I didn't. Hear me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Open your mind, alright? No memes, no jokes. I'm speaking to you heart to heart right now. Okay. Rinosuke has to present two pieces of evidence that yes. links Drebber with Austin. Yes. That's it. Yes. You have to think well, what's this? Obviously, but I don't know. It's gotta... What, what, do I, I don't wanna just... I don't believe myself. Okay, listen. Take another look at the contract. In which and... Mr. Odi asked me hereby enters, enters the contract with the provider Mr. Enoch Drebber to fund labor and materials to the construction of a super high voltage instantaneous piece of the machine. Mr. Trevor is to receive 30% of all remunerations from the government grant or other income. Whoa! Hold the phone! Something here it. looks familiar. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I can't read cursive, but I can recognize a pattern. Yeah. I'm like, at least you should recognize. You got it? You got it? Got it. Got it. It is the Trevor article, my lord. Damn! Mm -hmm. <laughs> that <laughs> was written ten years ago, when every detail has been examined already. What can it possibly tell us? That scribble should have never been written. 
It's typical gutter press nonsense that means nothing. Yes, on its own, it's perfectly significant. However, we consider it alongside another piece of evidence. It will completely, completely explain your motive for wanting Mr. Aspen dead. What other evidence? Well, yeah, I agree, Castro. Castro will present you some better evidence about the lady. The evidence of which cross reference with the newspaper article. Tell us more for the evidence. It's the goddamn contract. <laughs> it's his contract, my lord. Mr. Jeffrey, this is the contract you signed with Mr. Asman. Yes. He's back right. by Joe. The very document, in fact. That proves I had no reason to kill the man. No, I'm afraid not. What? <laughs> what? There's something very significant that his newspaper article and his article have in common. Really? Really? <laughs> yeah. And it's a common link. It shows very clearly why you were determined to kill Mr. Odie Asman. It seems the defense has uncovered something the rest of us have missed. I, I don't see how you guys missed it, but okay. Yikes. He's not holding it in his hands, you gotta think about that. True. Yeah, true. It's so in our freaking No, pockets. but then again, my excuse, my excuse was, uh, I have two excuses. One, I'm very tired. And two, <laughs> and two, Whatever. it's, I have, man, I have, when was last you got this, I don't even remember. We're definitely gonna be able to finish this. We got this shit though. We got this hold shit. Hold on. We got, <laughs> we got it. Right. We're almost there. I ain't gonna pass out on live on air again. Again. Oh, Listen, you'll have other people there. Sure, here. Surely you won't. Surely, surely not. So, my learned friend, point out what these two pieces of evidence have in common. It's simple, dumbass. What exactly is the link between this newspaper article and the contract? It's right here. It's the right here. That says the great stink. <laughs> Not the great stink. <laughs> what well, these pieces of evidence have in common? The signature. Uh, a signature? Why, yes, a signature. The signature of this illustration that accompanies this 10 year old article, and there's one signature on this contract. They've known each other for like 10 years. Wrong to the same fucking person! What? Redesky, watch your mouth! I'm sorry. As the court has heard, this illustration was drawn ten years ago. By the newspaper reporter who fought Mr. Drebber and interviewed him by the ordeal. There it is. Oh ass. Oh ass. If you look closely, you reporter signature can be seen in the bottom right of the corner of the drawing. And if you look at the quarter the course right. Look at the contract here, which signed between the two. And if you look at the contract here, which was signed between the witness and the pretend victim last year, you can clearly see Mr. Adam's signature at the bottom. Let me see it now. Good lord, yes! They're identical! <laughs> In short, oh my God. the journalist who did the illustration and wrote the article published about Mr. Jeffrey 10 years ago was looking at this case. Mr. O.D. ass man. Oh, he's taking. Oh, oh, he, he actually died. Pick yourself Need up, him. loser. Need I'm a winner, you're not. But I'm a winner. Explain the why? Oh, well, I ain't get that far ahead. Why would that constitute a motive for the witness to murder Osman? Jealousy. Because I said so. Bro, no, he ruined his life. You remember that Mr. Drebber talked about that article testimony? Got food in his mouth, I think. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, right, sorry, he was a student of the University of London who dreamed of becoming a scientist. However, a single newspaper article changed your entire life. But I'm sorry. So, Mr. Aspen needs a newspaper. He's a little bit. So, Mr. Aspen needs a newspaper. Oh. 
He did, my lord. In fact, it's a wildly ugly philosophy man to position himself at the heart of his criminal network, thanks to the many dubious connections he made during his time as a reporter. So you had to give up on your dreams and leave the university. You lost everything. Eventually, you find yourself working in the field of science, but only in shadows. And all because of that art written by Mr. Asp. Enough! Shut the fuck up! Everybody shut up! Hi. Good luck. Oh. Huh? Thank you. Stop this endless dribble about my life! What? It's way out, Mr. Dribble! Yes, it's true. I had to leave the university as a result of that article. But it was just the straw that broke the camel's back. Oh? Ryan! I'm clicking the button! What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Almost every student of science in the faculty was too poor to actually conduct any research. But they struggled on with their hypothesis anyway. We all did, only to have them taken by vultures. Sooner or later, you knew your ideas would be stolen and panted by some wretch or other, after all. Good. Good gracious! Making a name for yourself as a scientist in a climate like that it was a miracle only a few geniuses could ever hope to achieve. Personally, I wasn't one of those geniuses, so it was hardly a wrench. Being forced out of the university because of Logate was the best thing that could ever happen to me. Me when I lie, Mr. Drebber. <laughs> do you genuinely believe that? Of course I do. Oops, better place to know whether or not I possess a talent for science than me. Me? I'm sorry to say. Well, your words don't ring true at all. How dare you! Yeah. And I have evidence to prove it. How are you in a position to say anything about me? Not. I don't know you from Adam? I remember he's still like, huh? Derek? Oh, you can get him and it's not. Who's Adam? <laughs> I lack talent! What could you possibly have to disprove the idea that I was happy to leave university because I tell it this thing right here, motherfucker? Do you know what to remove? What? Do you know the evidence to remove? Oh, yes. What is it? Trophy. No way. You're wrong. Actually, it's, uh. It's the armband, you're right. It's oh, God. Lines, actually. Do you remember this, Mr. Drubber? I found out your workshop. Is that a royal society? <laughs> so exactly what he was talking about. He, not me. <laughs> what exactly is the uh, council? It's the greatest honor that can be bestowed on a young scientist, my lord. There is no higher accolade. It recognizes emerging talent and promises a bright future. Good gracious. Stop saying good gracious judge of a joke. Judge gives nothing. He's giving nothing, bro. <laughs> he's, he's, he's excited, bro. He's like, he's shook. He's, he's shook. Your Whoa. problems in the future were excellent, weren't they, Mr. Ever? Because even then, you were a genius in your field. But you lost everything. You had no more future. Your talents will go to waste. Oh, as a result of this one newspaper article. I don't know when you realized who Mr. Aspen was, but what it dawned on you that he was the same journalist who ten years ago ruined your life. It was abundantly clear that you had no intention of forgiving the man. Neither would I. He got sad for a second. Oh, the truth is... Hurry, <laughs> you no skin! Get a fold! I going to fold. He really said that. Oh. 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 Who goes there? Who goes there? Who's holding me? Who goes oh. there? Oh. 
Oh my god! It, it's McGilded! <laughs> <laughs> McGilded?! Oh. What are you doing here? In a woman costume? Oh, 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 oh. I... Clearly this has run its course now. What? I admit it. All of it. Yes. What?! Um, what are you doing? <laughs> it's exactly as the Japanese man said. That's me. I was coerced co into going along with this man's plot to murder the victim. On the condition that he kept my dirty secret from ten years ago. I... <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> He <laughs> shook, bro. <laughs> he couldn't handle that. He was like, "Ain't no way, my glorious white queen." <laughs> Doctor Seath, do you realize what you're saying, woman? Damn, damn, It's shot. all true. That day, when I arrived at the Crystal Tower and saw the bird cage. My heart nearly stopped beating. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the memory from a decade ago that I'd done my best to bury deep inside myself. Sorry, man. Sorry, mommy. It was the professor again, staring me in the face. And then, before I had a chance to react, I noticed something else. Don't scream a little bit. Oh. <laughs> there was a note tucked inside the model's jacket. Hello? Dr. C, you will go along with my plan. For someone who knows the truth about what really happened the night ten years ago. I didn't see no note. <laughs> well, of course she investigated this front to me. He ate it. Yeah. All the instructions were there in the note. Every detail was meticulously written out. She didn't read it, she just ate it. <laughs> I had no chance choice but to do what I it said. I made the necessary al alterations to the scene and fabricated the autopsy report as instructed. There was really no other choice. It had to be done to protect the judiciary. I can only apologize now. Huh? E Gads. Gads. Motherfucking Gads, brother. He Gads. OMG. He Gads. Oh, I don't know, so you pop up now. Well, there's no point trying to hide it anymore, is there? I would have done anything to stop it coming out, even collaborate in a murder. But the great lie about this execution ten years ago has been exposed. Whatever happens, I'm finished. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. So did I, Mr. Drepper. What do you say to that? Your compass admitted to everything. Surely it goes without saying. Ryan? You Ryan. missed your partner too, then. I admit nothing at all. What? Okay. Okay. Have you forgotten well, that the Kinesis machine was ripped to shreds by an explosion? Though to me admitting to a crime, there's really no possible way for you to prove I did anything wrong. Mm -hmm. Edward! <laughs> what did he just call me? Order, order, order! Hey, what's up, man? I'm holding hands. <laughs> they are holding hands back. Whatever this man says, I admit everything. He threatened to expose my secret, so I went along with his plan. And Lord Van Zeeks? Yes, mommy. Oh, what? Anyways, I hope you'll accept my apologies. What happens next is in your hands, of course. Ah, uh, what is she smiling for? Mr. Jimothy, what the 
fuck is this bitch talking about? She. <laughs> uh huh. I've had more than enough now. I represent the final findings of the court. You can't yeah, have this trial is not the proper form of which to pursue the alleged wrongdoers of Mr. Drummer. The defendant, Ebb Press Presser Albert Hebrain. Oh, right. Very true. You have I forgot to about that loser. I forgot. Isn't he one of your closest friends? Eh. As the court is heard, Dr. Sars is admitted to the allegations brought to his wider defense. Arr? Thereby absolving the defense of any possible guilt. You guys, you, you mean? At the present time, it is the conclusion of this court that the defendant was not involved in any wrongdoing. Does so the prosecution have any objection? Hold that thought, Van Zeeks. I'm thirsty. None, my lord. Is, did he leave? I think he got up and left. Yeah, he did. Oh, oh boy. We are so close. I know exactly what we gotta do next, and then that'll be it. I'm sure Taco's shaking in her shoes right now. <gasps> oh my god, this is the cutest start ever! <laughs> Lemonade. Lemonade. <laughs> Lemonade. I said my line, uh, Becky didn't say hers yet. I did not say it yet, I was waiting. Oh, congratulations, Mr. Nadahodo! We've proven Professor Hairbrite's innocence! Haha, <laughs> yeah. Without further ado, then, the dedication. Now, that's the prosecution of the defense is any matter to discuss. I have to go take my door out on the I don't know. This doesn't feel quite right. Why did the side suddenly admit to like that? Like, it to like that. Is everything all right, Mr. Nadahodo? No. Like I said before, before the trial said to end now, this will certainly deliver a verdict of not guilty. But is that really we want? What the defense should be pushing for now is. Bye, well, the wrong button. Oh shit. Oh wait, what? bro! What you bro? Read <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh, You have to read read through that. <laughs> if the judge is right now, we're gonna have people found guilty without any doubt. Something wrong with you, perhaps? Oh, uh, you know how it is. Yeah, but it's probably nothing. <laughs> And the Iron Shimmer during the racist earlier. No, please, I don't want to see that man right now. I did give it to show with my word, though, didn't I? I told him pursue any doubt I had about the truth at the absolute last. If you give it to show with your word, what if, I, what, what if I'm a liar, Cesaro, huh? What if I'm a fucking scumbag? If you oh. give show to show with your word, <laughs> well, then it most certainly is nothing. And it means there's only one right answer here. Yes, you're right. I don't know why I was ever wavering. Because of my, because of God, who's the wrong cousin button. Hello, Susato shaking. The defense objects really to the simple. trial ending at this time, my lord. I beg your pardon. <laughs> we demand one final testimony. Oh shit, my song's on. Let's go. What's up? The defense objects to the trial ending at this time, my lord. I beg your pardon. You do realize I'm not the educated favor of your client, I presume. Okay, there we go. What are you playing at now, my Nepalese friend? Why would you want to obstruct the conclusion of the trial at this point? So I'm different. No defense lawyer in his right mind would do that. Really, he throws it back in court. What? I'm quirky oh. like that. Okay, Dan. Hey yo. What? Twerk. <laughs> the twerking. The twerking. All your all your just clapping. Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's cheeks or it's something. Ayo. Go, Gabby boy, go. Go up, go back, go hey. All right, Ryan. The truth, the whole truth is. Did you say that? <laughs> I didn't say anything. The truth, the whole truth, and the way to bring it all is to pop in the open. 
Susan. Right! <laughs> she looked like she said that. She just looked like she gasped, you know, just like her. Yes. In hindsight. This guy! Jones. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sure it was a show of news. Show of news. This is what side. happened. Slam! Yes, I'm in court for my client. Funny. And it's clear to quit him. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> but that's not all. I'm gonna have to do to the court. To prove the whole truth of the case. So every last detail is laid bare. Oh my god, I'm so excited to finish this case. <laughs> just got hit with it. Oh my god. And that's why the defense so calls a further testimony from Becker's side. Ma'am? Courtney! Hi, hey, Courtney! Courtney. Why Courtney. not? Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Testimony for me about what? About, about what that ass do? I mean, what? About the nature of your collaboration with Mr. Enoch Trevor? <laughs> eh? <laughs> okay. Ha! In case it escaped your attention, I've already admitted to everything I did. Oh yeah! The whole truth was already been revealed. So stop this wasting way. everyone's time. This way. This way. Uh, That's his door sure. should be made. Very plain. Your client will get the acquittal you wanted for him. There's simply no point protracting this business further with another tedious cross examination. Actually, shut the fuck up. Okay, so, because I've decided that you're gonna do. <laughs> Wait, okay. Okay. My friend is handling of that hollow bottle. I slip. <laughs> it shows the head. I slip. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh. That's what you call it? <laughs> well, I catched it in more man Catched it perfectly. Shows is like bleeding out on the gallery floor right now. Uh, <laughs> good show. Awesome. Jolly good show. Oh my god. Also calls for supplementary testimony for the witness. Oh. Don't be fucking jumped! Whoop! He's. He's a bad as fuck, bro! I'm not gonna like Wait! <laughs> Just like! <wait. laughs> Let's drop all pretense. I'm not gonna say it. If there's more <laughs> to this case than has yet come to light, then I will okay. join my learned friend in pursuing the facts to the bitter end. Okay! She's actually sh she shook. Lord Red Six. I gotta get this guy in bed. Whoa. What? Okay. This is not irregular to say the least. However, as the brother usually knows God's story, and I will approve the request. Dr. C, you will testify for the court. Why'd your voice change? Explain for the full extent of your involvement in the matter apparently committed by Mr. Drebber. I guess... Okay, sure. <laughs> I guess I asked. Uh, very I well. I suppose I asked. I suppose I asked. This is... Uh, uh, Alright, first question. Is, uh, Are you free next Tuesday? No? Okay. okay. No, sorry. Uh, also, this is the last cross examination. Oh boy. Let's get this break. Yeah. You got this, man. When I saw the wax work and then tucked inside its jacket, the yep, body was indicated in the notes instructions was beneath the examination stage. Fermentation. Fermentation, my bad. The body had to be arranged in certain ways to implicate the defendant, which was my job. I enlisted the help of the entire forensic investigation team to dress the scene appropriately. The truth about the execution tent go is a state of its level. You are cutting out. Courtney's running out of battery. I'm running. I'm dying. I'm dying. 
<laughs> so I was right. The stage and the machine were all specially designed for deception. Cons. So it seems. And all meticulously prepared. You did well to see through it. Am I cutting out, though? Anymore? You're good now. You're a very shrewd boy. I'm different, Hello? as you could say. So kind of you to say. And what about the autopsy report, then? All I did was record the location of the body as being in the Crystal Tower instead of under the stage. That's all? That's a terrible corruption. Only my team were beat, and then only under my explicit instructions. Nobody else of Scotland Yard knew anything about it, I assure you. Mm, well, I believe the testimony has clarified everything. There's a particularly need for examination, I would say. Hold the phone, pal. No, Are you I disagree. I can't shake the feeling that something's wrong. She's so gonna smile on her face, face man. Face. She's in. Right. What the fuck? Taco. <laughs> Taco? Let Taco speak her truth, man. Oh, I don't know. It's the defense right to correct the mix anyway to swallow his money. <laughs> Taco's alright. What is it about you Japanese that makes what you all so doggily persistent? N I <laughs> nigga What <laughs> What did he say? <laughs> the judge finally let it slip through. He was holding back the whole time. <gasps> Thank God it's eighteen hundreds. Oh my god. <laughs> Proceed with that qual examination. <laughs> yes, my lord. <laughs> but also I'll say that again. Yeah, we're gonna get bad Okay, here we go. Let me save, because I actually kinda of wanna do here. No we began the scene. Shut up! Uh oh, hello. From what you described before, it sounded like the, it sounds like the note was anonymous. Do you have any idea who was behind it? Well, my, my bad plan. There are very few people in the know about the real what really happened ten years ago to start with. But anyway, I've never heard of this engineer, so no, I had no idea. Yet, despite not knowing who was behind the plan, you went along with it. I had no choice. Protecting the professor's secret was my only concern. What the fuck does Shut that up! Mean? What is he talking about? What is he no yapping about, bro? Oh, what is his vote to know on the stable norm? I'll never shut again. Get this loser out of here. This is what Clint said. Yard's reputation will be immeasurably damaged as a result of all this. Yes, thank you, Lord Fancy. I'm well aware of that. They the obvious. So as I understand it, and you found that the barricade was weapons minor more than in the murder bitten body. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 So you knew what the special construction of the stage used to carry the sixth one trick then? It was quite obvious what had happened when the victim with the victim in the wax work. And you switched the two do over, didn't you? In other words, you recorded that this body hasn't been discovered in the Crystal Tower. Then the wax work. I wrapped it and sent it by carriage to the specific address. Or specify address at the specified time. And why would you give us the directions? Presumably so it could be the uh recovered by Drubber and returned to Madame Tuspells. I see. And then you put 
the perk keys on the back of the exploration stage. Actually, yes. it's heavy. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess it'd be fair, yeah. I think. Also, someone obviously heavy. made a mistake about which bird cage should go where. I thought I'd make it perfectly clear to the team, but still. And I suppose you're fo focused on the victim's body, that being more important detail. No comment. Damn. No comment. Oh, Courtney, you're a baddie. Yes, queen. When you say arranged, I presume you mean this with this? Yes, the instructions in the engineer's notes said something along the lines of fabricate some evidence to make it clear that Hairbrain alone would have killed Osman. So, you mean that was your doing? I fetched Hairbrain's ridiculous screwdriver from the stage and took it with me alone to the abyss under the stage where the birdcage had fallen. Ah? Huh? Alone, Doctor. No comment. What? I didn't feel it would be appropriate to involve everyone else in this particular part of the deception. What? Hold on a sec. Look at that man laid out, bro. <laughs> there was a void under the stage where I found the birdcage lying in the dirt. Oh, I approached it, leaned down, and slowly opened it up. Then, I took the screwdriver in both hands, and plunged it into the man's chest. It should have been me! She should have killed me! <laughs> God, I love what this fucking kill me. Exactly. And then you noted that your fake autopsy report is fictitious as fictitious whatever cause of death. Fictitious. Yes, sir. Exactly. So the actual cause of death was the trauma resulting from the thirty-foot drop. Me when I lie. My word. <laughs> um. Susan? Oh, not Susan. No, Ryan? I didn't say it. Oh. <laughs> what is it, Mr. Sato? What do you think about Dr. C's last statement? It's playing on my mind, that's all. Mine too. <gasps> Same brain? Same brain? I find. Dr. Scythe! There's really no need to shout. I can hear you perfectly well. Ooh, important statement, I see. The defense mm -hmm. calls for oh. you to add what you just said to the former testimony. Mm -hmm. Oh, which part? Yeah. What do I want something uh -oh. to add testimony with? Oh! Is... Now uh... then, what do you think? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Okay, listen, I will say before you get crazy, if you guess the wrong one, you will have to um, press the prior testimony and have her say all of that again so you can change your answer. Before you get crazy and try to guess. Because what happened to me when I did this, I chose the wrong one and then I was stuck. <laughs> Becky, say that again. You cut out. Oh, sorry. I said no. I said I got all my stuff in my first try. Yeah, she did. So I cooked. You can you can get some some help with this because I know I know you're EP. You know I don't know. No. She's. Uh. I want to see if this is the right one. I think this is what it was. I'm going through to see. Let's see what she says here. You can look for your evidence again, but if you're not really sure... Ah! Okay, 
I've got it. I've got it. Just, uh... It, it gets a little dicey. I mean, Becky got it her first try. I, I got it! I I'm already there! I'll just wait. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely didn't get it my first try. I... <laughs> I blanked completely, and I just didn't realize. I, well, Jeremy, don't 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 feel bad for. I stayed at this part thinking about it for maybe ten minutes because I exactly. wasn't sure which one to pick. You can also look through the evidence again. I had to look through the evidence, and then I cooked. That's what it was. I went back through it, literally anything involving what happened on the stage. Okay, yeah, so... I, I definitely... So... What, what up? Mm. I got an idea. But okay. what's... Oh, my, my brain's cooked right now. And uh -oh. So, let me just tell, let me just say the idea. I think, I think, I think the, the, the wording of these, <laughs> of these are getting to me more, the, more so than uh, not knowing the answer. So, I mm -hmm. think it's, you know, like, her stabbing him. Because it, 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 was, it wasn't the 30-foot Trump that killed him. She stabbed the guy. She, she stabbed She totally stabbed him. Totally stabbed him. That's, that's how he died. Totally, right? Yeah, gotta be. But, would it be the real cause of death or was she just a victim? It's it's that's the wording that's getting me right now. I don't know which one mm -hmm, to click. Mm -hmm. It's very it's very like yeah. twisty journey right at this part. But yeah, you, maybe if you look back through evidence, it'll give you an idea that maybe sway you to one idea or the other. Just just something about like what specifically being asked here. Maybe take a look back through the evidence. Even though your brain's cooked, you don't you don't gotta feel any type of way for maybe getting stuck on this is me personally i did not get this at all it i it went right over my head <laughs> <laughs> me over here i, I there's something i looked at i'm like wait a minute <laughs> well, i'll tell you right now to me it's not his nose <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's his big old nose bro what <laughs> I'll give you a hit. It's not gonna be anything with the the, dro the screwdriver. It is evidence that you will see. It is yeah. nothing that Rinosuke picks up with his hands and moves around. You, it is something mm -hmm. you have to look at. And then something you look at. Yeah. It's because she she mentioned it, and then of course Susato, her father being a man of medicine. She knows exactly what's wrong with what she said. There's, there's your hint. There's your big hint from me. I can't think straight, dude. <laughs> oh, Terumi! Listen, listen, listen. Dusato's father is a man of medicine. Yes. And Courtney said she walked up to the body on the ground. Yes. Stabbed it. Dusato heard that and she's like, there is something wrong with that. 100 percent so mm -hmm. there is something a piece of evidence you have to look at when you see it you will understand why susato is saying that that is not correct it i will tell you it is a evidence you look at it is not something that rinos can picks up and moves in his hands so don't look at anything that you move you have to look at a picture pretty much diagram a picture it's one of those things so put that fucking birdcage away. <laughs> okay, the photograph of the balloons is gonna be the one for sure. I'm just, I was, I was just clicking on shit. I was just clicking on shit. <laughs> Nugs. Damn it. You got questions, feel free to ask. Yeah. 
I was gonna say the autopsy report, right? But then it, she's fabricating shit. It can't be up to snuff, correct? Because you follow death, hemorrhage over the wound, chest pierced through the heart, inflicted by the sharp implement. Yes, we know who stabbed the screwdriver. Mm hmm. So there, there's nothing really there that's, you know, not right. <laughs> ah! Son of a bitch! My head is heavy! Oh, come on! You almost dead! This is the I'm last right piece! I'm right here, bro! I'm right here! This is the literal last big thing here. For real. Taco, feed me the answers. Taco, please. Taco, Taco yeah. don't listen to this guy. <laughs> Taco, <laughs> no. Ruby, come on. <laughs> I like, I okay, just... like, listen to Ruby. Oh my god, listen to Ruby. We already know the real cause of death, correct? All right. I guess. Uh huh. So, what do we not know? What she did to the victim. Right? I go ask the only other option. <laughs> I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna answer yes or no. I'm just like I'm putting that out there. That's my final big That's what I would do to Becky too. She'd be like, so this, right? Silent. <laughs> and then <laughs> Abby smiles. Abby smiles silently. I either smile or I shake my head. That's what I would do. <laughs> Shit, man, it's... If I was sober, this would be easy. Sober! Like Vicky said, Rinosuke knows. Rinosuke knows one thing, but we there's something we don't know. That we gotta prove. Said, the one thing that Susato... Her father being a man of medicine, she saw from the testimony, and she's like, that is not right. Something, there's something wrong with what she said. <laughs> He's looking right through it. That's fine. You see that? Reno's like, what is it, Mr. Sato? And she's like, there's something wrong with the statement. And of course, you know, Courtney asks, like, well, what do you want me to put in the testimony? And it should be that part that if you look at the piece of evidence that you will have to prevent, present later, I'm telling you this now. It's like right after, at that by the way. Specific piece of evidence, <laughs> you will see what's wrong. But I will say you should. You don't have to scroll that far up, by the way. It is not all the way up there. I, I know, I know, I know. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired, bro. Oh, it's really... Bro, we have to get him through this, so he's not gonna make we, it. We gotta really? lock, I gotta lock in. I gotta lock in. Okay, Listen, okay, okay. I will say, though, if if we feed you the answer for this, we will not help you in 2-4. <laughs> That's me. Uh, okay, okay. We don't want him to loop through the whole thing again. Okay, listen, I we will not feed you the answers for 2-4, but, you know, we can give you a little more. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. But, okay. you just let him know if you genuinely want Actually, you know what? If we figure the, the answer to this, you will not be shown me to Shoms ever again. <laughs> Until the game ends. Wait, what? If we <laughs> feed you the answer to this, do not be mean to Shoms ever again. Ever again? Until the game ends. Until the game ends. Well, until the game ends, which you got like two more cases. <laughs> exactly. So, you can take that well, okay. offer. Okay, what qualifies as mean? Don't say anything that I personally would be like, that's me. So if you're here, be like, oh, thanks, Shobes, that was really helpful. You can't do that. Oh, no. The pass-aggressiveness, bro. Yeah, don't be passive-aggressive, because that's what you do the most. Yeah, true. So, do you, do you want it, or you can, you can just take yeah, a big block? I'll, 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 I'll take the plea I'll I'll deal. Alright, this one, I mean, like, this one oh, also, hold on. before that, wait, wait, I was gonna say, if we feed you this one, it's just that we don't want you to loop around because it does take a little bit. Yes, yeah. this loop is pretty brutal because it does, you have to go all the way back, so I was just like, mm. Alright, so, look at the picture of the victim. Yeah, let's tell him to do that. Look at your victim. And I want you to tell me what seems I weird. <laughs> the gummy, my bad. 
All right, Turimi. Remember what Miss Courtney said about finding him down there on the ground, 30 mm -hmm. feet below, walking up to him and plunging the screwdriver in his chest. What seems off about this picture? He's up top. What? No. No, <laughs> they moved it! They moved it! <laughs> Remember they transported the body up top. Oh, exactly. yeah, yeah. All right. Remember that people do not bleed after they die. They don't? They do not. Oh, you didn't know that. <laughs> okay, that helps, actually. Now that you- I know that you didn't know that. True me. If somebody is already dead, and something happens to them, like, uh, they get a cut or whatever, they do not bleed, because the heart is not there to pump the blood. Oh, yeah, that makes if, sense. If, yeah, with that in mind, what is wrong with the picture? He's bleeding. And how? From a stab wound. Okay, but what what's going on with the blood? If he was on his back, first of all, yes, yeah. it's the fact that he is bleeding yes, that's wrong. But also, yeah, he's but... on his back right now. Courtney yeah. said she found him like that, and she stabbed him. It, the blood so... going down, so he was he was upright when he was stabbed. Yeah. So with that in mind, what part of the testimony does she have to tell you about again? Mm-hmm. What you did to the victim? You cook. I didn't cook for shit. <laughs> it was in his hands like low energy, one one percent battery life right now. Exactly. He cooks. We got we gotta get into the end of two three. <sighs> Trust, we gotta get there. Love, you will love the beginning. You'll of love. <laughs> you'll love it. How you stab Mr. Aspen in the chest? That part. Fine, <laughs> if that's what you want, but there's really no need to point. I sorry, I have to read from the story. And then he points to the prosecution <laughs> concurs. Damn, they pointed at her. What the fuck is wrong with you? Very well, you supplement your testimony now, witness. Paco Barox genuinely is such a good character. <laughs> okay. Now that Courtney has supplemented her testimony, you don't. If you press press it, do not press this, by the way. Yeah, just Six. present, right? You can just present, but you just read just it present. just so you know mm -hmm. exactly what the issue is. Obviously, I stood over the victim's corpse where it lay in the toppled cage, plunged scooter in his chest, and that's incorrect. So I will present the picture of the corpse. No, he could. <laughs> He cooked with a little bit of help. That's fine. I mean, it's- it, There it's we go. Zero right percent battery. Yeah. I think this is the point of extremely uncomfortable truth. Oh shit. <gasps> yes! Oh, no, Scoot has got this! <laughs> what on earth is the matter, Council? Have you lost your tongue? Oh yeah, we're cooking now, baby! I apologize, you my lord. Your element. Dr. Scythe, in that last statement of yours, there's a one, just one point. Oh, that no seems scared. to defy explanation. Out with it, my learned friend. Mm. There's an obvious inconsistency between your description and this photograph, <laughs> which shows that there's been a broken fall in the midst of Philippa's death. <laughs> the court has already examined that photograph of death. <laughs> there's nothing <laughs> new we can learn from it. This goes hard. Yeah. yeah. This is the prelude. This is the prelude. This isn't oh, even the main shit. thing. Oh shit. Uh, <laughs> I saw my energy coming back. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Yes, let's go. Susato be bossing us and Yes, we have already considered it. That's true. But we now will we now know if that fact to be different. What do you mean? I believe we should let the defense explain. Bet! Why the photograph would be the alleged inconsistent with the witness statement? There we go! The <laughs> goddamn stab wound! <laughs> Look closely to the blood stain on the victim's chest. It clearly extends down with the direction towards the fed's feet. His dog. There it is! And why is that significant, counsel? What? <laughs> The victim was stabbed in the moment before the pinch of the machine set in motion. 
some kind of <laughs> ah! Of course! No! That's not what happened! Exactly, my lord. She, uh... I've decided to make a very clear system just now. Mm -hmm. At a point in which you stole Professor Hairbrain's screwdriver and stabbed the victim. It was after the grand description... Grand deception to shut up. It was after the grand deception and the motion when the birch would fall below stage out of sight. From the shape of it, it's clear that the birdcage would fall on its side after the 30 foot drop. Uh, and if the victim had been stabbed with walked inside the birdcage in that position, the blood of the wound would have spread out equally in all directions. Mm hmm. For it have been formed in that in what the fuck? Longitudinal appearance, whatever. We see the yeah, picture. Yeah, really, pull out the freaking encyclopedia for that one. It's it's not, I'm so proud. He has no idea what that word means. <laughs> Given that victim's blood seeps vertically downwards from the wound, it must be the case when you stab Mr. Aspen, he was standing up. Damn. And short to the side. Boom! Your Damn. last testimony was a total fabrication. Hey! Yes! I'm a fucking winner. <laughs> I knew it. I was right. Now we identify the contradiction. So we won't explain the facts. We've all been on a great misapprehension here. What? What sort of misapprehension? Don't worry about that right now. I'll quit later. Okay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, side. <laughs> you claim your work is coerced and held Mr. Drebber. As well as the note from the waxwork. Claim that you made changes to the scene of the crime so you will keep the defendant. And you claim that your authority offered a fake officer for the cover of tracks. But one of those claims is an out and out and lie. Because the question of what the blood stain really tells us. There's only been one possible answer. If that is the case, what is it, man? Come on, put two two together, Barack, baby. Please. Paco, Jimothy's chewing on his little dog. Bro. You, know, so just... you clearly struck with the very least. Oh. Now tell the court what it is. This is Jimothy right now. It's hard to stop the story. It's to be a lie. But the coach is my testimony. Well, you fool. The answer is having a victim. Mm -hmm. The answer is very simple, if you consider the sequence of events. Mm -hmm. And when the was stabbed, too. the blood from the wound downwards as it did. He knows it now, he got yes. it. We can, we can be sure that the victim must be, have been either sitting or standing upright at the time. But as you rightly pointed out, the birdcage would have fallen on its side when it fell beneath the stage. Exactly. Brother, come on! Yes, it would. Which tells us that the victim must have been in that position. Of his own accord. Idiot. Impossible. <laughs> Impossible. Como, como se puede hacer? The man was dead, remember? No. That is misapprehension. I don't feel. He gets. He gets. He gets. When the oh shit! Oh my! Oh my God! This OST is OST! That's what I'm yes, saying! It is. When the bird cage fell from the stage into the void below, it must hit the ground with considerable force. The thing is, bro. That man won't dead. You should have me height, by the way. I stood yeah. up. Like, yeah. yeah! That shit kinda hurt. <laughs> but what <laughs> happened didn't die in the fall. Dude, my back hurt a little bit, actually. Oh. God, God damn! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that man <laughs> fell. That has no cushioning. That man fell. Like, where, where am I? He probably left guard for a while, but when he came around, guess who's there to meet him? Cage. Just as the like, oh. scythe appeared. Wow. If the victim was in fact alive at that point in time, it changes everything. Shake him out of the give him a chance. She didn't give him a chance. Uh, uh. Mm. Stop moaning in the court. Mr. Odie Aspen, killer was <laughs> killer wasn't the defendant. Oh. Fuck this. Hey, hey! My time to shine. 
But it's already asked if Killer wasn't the defendant, Professor, Professor Albert Hellbrain. No one's the best rival behind the stage trickery. Mr. Enoch Jeffrey. BAM! It was you! At the Courtney side! I'm so good at my job! Order! 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 Can you can can this possibly be true? Flashback to a flashback of Reynoska Googling. Do people bleed after they die? <laughs> this is what society for, it's this is what happened to sit. What has it been hitting me for? Cool. <laughs> you know, people don't believe in us, Ted, right? Mm. Killed him? Dang, she did it. Mm. Oh, oh, nothing to say, huh? You hope that by admitting that it's being accomplice in this scheme, the trial would end. Before you were accused of far worse crime. Cold blooded murder! I knew she killed somebody. Oh, do shut up! MAKE ME! You're so desperate now, you're making all this up. As if I would do something like that. <gasps> so sad! I assure you the defense is not desperate, Doctor. I'm in my bag right now, she knows it. has established the facts using evidence and logic alone. Gas me up, girl, hell yeah! Logic? Gas me up, hype me up! <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Whoa! Sadly, your logic has a gaping hole in it. I'm what, what, oh? <laughs> what? What do you mean? <laughs> I've had a... I've... <laughs> I've had thought it was obvious. A motive, boy. You're lacking a motive. What possible reason would I have to kill Mr. Osman? Jimmy, do you remember what happened last stream? No. Uh, okay, well, this is gonna be an issue. <laughs> <laughs> Osman was involved in a number of criminal activities. <laughs> coercion to theft and murder. It but was so far back, Avi, it was so far back. I know. But there's no known connection to Dr. Seath here. Well, uh, there's no... Uh, hmm. I'm rather going to say it does seem more somewhat far-fetched. True, there's no obvious motive. But there's still something in the back of my mind. I feel sure I've seen something somewhere that hits the wider corner might have done this. Yes, I might have tampered with the crime scene and it's the fake report. Concocted by that. But murdering someone for no reason is a very different story. Higiyori! <laughs> no. When you question the possible reason you could fast for one to become Sir Asman, something did come to mind. What? What was it, Council? I like the corner once! On God, Your Honor. Don't worry, I got this and I won't have to Google it either. Ha <laughs> ha Yes. We saw yesterday, didn't we? We saw yesterday, last week, didn't we? A couple we? weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Something that seemed strange, we had no reason to expect it at the time. Surely if they give you the, the options, options we don't know. I would have wanted to kill Mr. Aspen. Damn! Oh! <laughs> the options are there, so you just have to... I remember! Get me! <laughs> The what? Did you say you're guessing? Hell yeah. Wait, what'd he guess? What'd you guess? He's got the scalpel! He's a He didn't even think about it. Right. The scalpel! Oh, or rather, are you seeing this? Scalpel! You did it! I told you! <laughs> I'm good at my job! <laughs> There's that one thing that they, they looked at the book in the office. It's like, those like. <laughs> Millions of scalpels yeah. or Why something. Are they ordering five hundred scalpels a month. You think at least Jeremy sees scalpels? He'll think, huh? They did talk about scalpels before. No, I'm just I think I, I think I forgot at this point. I don't remember. Did you say scalpels? Uh, uh -huh. It would appear that the word struck a chord, Doctor. Me. Y you come on out with it. It was yesterday. Yeah, sure. When you visited your laboratory. It was a few weeks ago when we went to your laboratory. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, look at that. Oh, 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 POV, I'm looking at my bugs. <laughs> well, I'm this is rather strange. What <laughs> crossing noises? 
you pay this token every every month though. That's, that's, such, a, that's a such a weird reason though. Uh, that's the wrong thing. I mean, At first, I wondered what on earth would you could be using the double coin. But actually, I realize now couples are for them, so they're significant. It's the money for them. Disappearing every month from the department's fuck counts. Aspen's criminal organization relied heavily on extortion for its funding. Tracing the money from the forensic investigation team's account to find out where it was going would be extremely straightforward. Uh oh, you're cooked. <laughs> it's over. It's over. Ten okay. years ago, when Mr. Aspen was still a journalist and he wrote an article of Mr. Drebber, he may well stumble upon information he was researching the story. Information related to Dr. Styles' Dr. Secret that he would use to rack money from her for the next decade. Hey, buddy, I'm in my fucking bag! Guy who was stuck for like five minutes and needed to Google do people bleed after they die. I'm tired! That <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Secret, good lord! You mean. I don't know what happened on the night of the execution ten years ago. I wasn't there, so I can't say shit. But clearly, the opportunity to rid yourself of that menace was too tempting to pass up. BAM! It was like a frozen Capri Sun. So in the end, you weren't gonna roast at all, were you? You did it entirely of your own free will. Yeah, dog, it's like 623. <laughs> we almost got this. I didn't read, hold up, let me <clears throat> You stabbed Mr. Aspen in the heart with all your might. Stop the blackmailer who knew your dark secrets forever. Got him. Oh, well. They'll never understand. None of you. What? <laughs> We've had to keep covered up all these long years. Well, there it is. He gets. He gets. I just think about the Moe statue that Taco used for Jimmy. He gets. <laughs> it was really funny. Oh, she folded. Mm. What I like about Courtney's breakdown is she does not scream. She's just... She just gives up. I don't yeah. know. There's something about it that's just so... Um, <sighs> yeah. As little the machine remains that it was ripped apart Anyways, by the mom. you got it. Maybe you did it. Good job. I did it. <laughs> the truth of the case can never be properly established unless you speak it out. <laughs> and if you decide not to, it's very possible that Courtney C. will escape punishment for her crimes. Please, sir, own up to what you've done and tell the court the truth about what happened. Ten years ago, you told the truth, and you were robbed of a bright and successful future as a result. I can certainly understand your bitterness, and your... consultation now. However... This surely... This is surely the chance you've been waiting for, to sever the hold that fate's had over you all these years. I guess. I suppose I, I asked. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> Super high voltage instantaneous kinesis? I mean, really? Yes. Oh, here we go. It's the adult brain mock scientists that are the worst, you know. They don't recognize the fact that they don't have talent. They can't even get that right. You call them. And so they. Eh? What did you say? <laughs> I said, call him a bitch. <laughs> that little bitch doesn't even know he has no talent. Like seriously, like come on. <laughs> Wasting his time and money thinking he's a scientist. Loser. <laughs> Fuck that loser. Loser, loser behavior. Oh. Alpha's like crying back there. <laughs> <laughs> and so they end up chasing. Oh, Get this guy out of here. Anyways. Having the bridled face of their abilities. They go on and on about the wonderful hypothesis, their stupid eyes shining like a little child. They make me sick. I can't abide their foolishness. Careful, Mr. Trevor. No, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, pause, pause. You, I am not I... randomly, I am not randomly hating. I... <laughs> <laughs> this bitch pissed me off. 
I, I, I'm not gonna lie, Hairbrain did act a little out of pocket. I forgot that he was like, like high key, like annoying. Like, Bo was getting on my like, 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 I, no, like bitch, no bitch, Bo was pissing me off. No, I was mad that he kept like throwing the 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 trial at the beginning. I was like, come on, like shut up, like, let me let me do my he job, bro. Literally debunked everything that you tried to get. I'm like, like, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, it was a little annoying. <laughs> I hate this guy. And he, actually, you know, Western fandom loves him. So. Oh, so, they love that guy. I'm like, <laughs> it's okay. Westerners. Hell. <laughs> we're gonna get called. We're gonna call uh, out on the Twitter comments again. I feel. What are bunch <laughs> of like? Well, I won't say it because. No, might... no, no, no. <laughs> Anyways, careful, Mr. Trevor, whatever. Hey, why? <laughs> S, bro. Now! I was particularly pleased with the Kinesis machine. I made it for show. It was made for quite a show, didn't it? My bad, I was looking at my phone. <laughs> oh. So you admit it. You admit that it was nothing more than a sham made for the purpose of killing the victim. Yes, I admit it. I did it all, in the name of revenge. Hey man, I get it. <clears throat> Me! <laughs> revenge was featured in Mr. Aspen's article, I deprived you of ten years earlier. But the revenge you saw didn't stop Mr. Aspen, at Aspen, did it? Which is where that very particular waxwork comes in. Yes, I see. Not a horrible name. Susan! My bad. I was- <laughs> No, look what I po- No, look what I posted! Hello. <laughs> the condemned convict that you saw rising from the grave in Lowgate Cemetery ten years ago? If your account of these events were all true, or was all true, and obviously Scott and Yard couldn't afford to acknowledge what had happened. Even if it meant discrediting a bright young man and crushing any future career he might have had. So your plan required that you adopt that particular wax of Marlo. In order to get your revenge on Scott and Yard as well. Or on Dr. Scythe, to be precise. <coughs> Oh, Enoch. I'm gonna miss him. <laughs> I love him. Yeah, he's such a quirky guy. <laughs> I love him. It was a year God, ago. I miss this wacky fella. Yeah. By some extraordinary twist of fate, Osman turned up at my workshop. He didn't remember who I was, of course. He just wanted to employ my services as an engineer. And he happened to have a paper with him. An article on the front page caught my eye. About the coroner who handled that bogus autopsy being appointed head of a new forensic Damn. team. He said bogus, bro. bro. <laughs> that, that stupid shit. bitch. <laughs> when I learned that news, my cognitive processes started to devise the plan. What a horrid tale. He robbed me of my future, so I wanted to use the man's own wiles against him for revenge. And have that rotten Scotland Yard eating out of my hand at the same time. I don't blame him. Uh, no, I don't. You can't, you can't blame him. did nothing wrong. <laughs> nothing wrong. He actually didn't. Hashtag free Drebber. Free him. Free Drebber, yeah. bro. I'm the free first Drebber. one out there. Let, let my boy go. I'm breaking him up. I'm gonna get you out of there. <laughs> I promise <laughs> you out of there, my boy. I wanted them all to suffer the same humiliation I had to suffer. Um, you're, you're on Axel's hair the whole time. Flashbang! Ah! Oh, he... So he was tensed up. Mm. Oh, gee whiz. Your actions against those who ruined your future were just fight as revenge. At least, to yourself. Certainly, no one has the right to destroy another's prospects, especially for purely selfish gain. And yet, in carrying out your plan, you exactly let to someone else, didn't you? I mean, like, 
come on, let's be real here. Like, I mean, Albert, Albert ain't nobody worried about his dumbass. He'll be fine. He'll be hey, alright. He's okay. He's okay. Oh shit! I was on Twitter. We're so brains? close. You're on Twitter, <laughs> the site formerly known as Twitter. What's the hair? only crime was passion for time out of this and being a fucking dumbass. But you had no computer compunction about Tucker Ryan's features. That's your range. What features he have? I'm sorry. I'm being extra mean to him now. Oh, he has to take his hair out on somebody else because now he can't do it to show. Him, so. <laughs> It's you, you, true. you knew that he would be forever branded a failure. I mean, he was gonna die regardless. I can't stop. A failure and a fraud. Perhaps life treated you unfairly ten years ago. That was misconduct. Your life tatters. Remember this. Your own actions. Oh. We're learning exactly the same thing for another perfectly innocent young man. Uh. Preach, brother. Damn. Drabber! I need to sneeze so bad. Oh. It's, it's killing me. I... I... That's you! That's you! <laughs> Lord of Antiques! What of the size? I've never seen it before! We did it! Yes. You, you might as well, you, you might as well stay it. for that. This is the end. So you, might as well, you might as well stay for the conclusion. Literally. <laughs> and immediate warrant for her arrest has been granted, and she's been re re remanded in custody, my lord. Oh. Ah, Lamal. I presume she will face trial in the coming days, along with Mr. Drubber, who, by the way, did nothing wrong. Free jury. I'm most regrettable at the situation, indeed. She's made a great contribution to oppression over the years. It really is a hard shit to swallow. However... That is a topic for some future occasion. For now, Professor Hairbrain. Oh. Oh, uh, yes? Oh, he's Free here. Free Drabber. Free Drabber. Free Drabber. It seems oh, it was a great. Uh, Ami, Ami. What? You gotta do the voice for the, la for the last Hairbrain. You gotta okay. do the voice. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the closer. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's the closer. It's the closer. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. It seems there was a great deal more to your experiment than you realized. However, I think we can assume now that all sordid details have been brought to light. This has been very long and profound trial, but I'm pleased to say blah blah blah, you're absolved of all guilt, whatever. I guess. This whole experience has taught me a very painful <laughs> lesson. Life, life, and I need. Me, this dedicated scientist, this, this devotee of natural philosophy. I've been selfish and so centered in a fool. A fool. Yeah, Professor. What happened to his voice? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. I spent my life thinking of nothing but my research. I was guidedly believing that I could do whatever I set my mind to, despite my lack of talent. In the worst of it is, in the process, I'm constantly in pain and misery. Others who are far, far greater people than I. I. <laughs> no, Professor, that's not true. Yes, it is, Zeke. What? Hey, what? No. <laughs> Don't tie yourself with the same brush as Drebber. What happened was his doing and his alone. Hey, respect my goat. This outcome is his faith, not yours. You're not to blame in any way. Bestie, that's not true! Lord Van Zeeks, I think you're Bestie, very wrong right now, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you talk. that is just not true. You served at the University of Conthology. <laughs> <laughs> and the original with which he referred to you earlier. Calling you a fool. Talentless, even. Oh my god! I love Barak. He's so nice. <laughs> He's so sweet. The man has no idea. You believe in yourself and work your fingers to the bone and realize your dreams. That's laudable, not laughable. <gasps> Scar! Oh. No one has the right to divide another for such choices. 
bro, if he ever said that shit to me, I would have cried. They would have pointed a laugh at me. Like, oh, that's oh. Thank you, Vera. So, ladies and gentlemen of the. <laughs> 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 So, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Is this I yeah, that's my Lord. It is a court exception. It's the case, whatever, that you find expectation that you find the defendant not guilty of the charge in which she stands accused. I presume there are no objections. Then for me, my Lord. <gasps> my God, get He's coming. not. This trial has really made me think, but this is the right decision. I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> oh man! All uh, right, but we'll see you later, guys. It's, it's, it's been real, man. It's all been proven methodically and rigorously. I have no misgivings whatsoever. Yes, sir. Bit goat, get out! Get, get, I don't want to see you ever again, by the way. What's that? He's done. He's all over. <laughs> Never show your face to me again. <laughs> I don't know what's become of the yard That's these it. days. I don't recognize the place. Very well. In that case, I hereby pronounce the defendant <gasps> That's not bad. guilty. Yes. 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 <laughs> this is a really, this is a really good fucking case. <laughs> It was great. Said, this, this is so good. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, good. You know the one thing that got me though throughout oh, all this is the a one thing that really stayed on my brain. They talked about the fact that the professor got shot dead and they didn't bring it back up. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, he got shot. I'm like, okay, Drubber got covered in blood. Is that not concerning? Hey, yes, I got uh, a plot point going on here. Uh, well, okay. Yeah. Don't worry yeah. about oh, it. Oh well. They yeah. literally, oh, well. that's just it. They're just like, well, anyway. <laughs> it's over. That it's so real over. So real over. I have to do that damn. 24th October. 4.33 p.m. The Old Bailey. The Fitness Chamber. Look at Ugh. <laughs> Professor, what a fun outcome, isn't it? Damn. Oh, he's not talking yet. Oh, it is! Isn't it? Congratulations, Professor Hairbrain! Do I have to do it here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 This the Baru Hodo. Don't say my name. And this Zukato. <laughs> oh, I am name. truly. <laughs> this I waste so much gratitude. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take you with me. Bro, pick yourself up. Uh, uh, Ooh, uh... I'm just oh. uh, I'm just glad it's all been cleared up, but you realize you were just caught up in a bad situation. Or whatever. <laughs> right now, you know, if I had that research grant buddy. <laughs> Look out, you Thank you for to you, everybody. I don't want your money. Well, that's very kind, but I'm just a student, so Well, <laughs> we don't need any fight. Reward. Hold on, hold on, Sada, Sada. We, we, we do, we do, we do. Sada, hold on, hold on, Sada. I, I, whoa, 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 Sada. Relax, relax. <laughs> she said, we don't need to any financial reward. Riddle is more than enough, and read whoa. this game without taking the money. You can't convince me otherwise. Okay, I, I, I mean, I was joking when I said I don't want his money, I really want his money. So, uh, yeah, Sada, this Sada, Sada, well. Huh. No money with no snot or tears on it. Yeah, he's not right. all over this money. You really want that? I'll clean it myself. M money is money. Yeah, he could write a check at least. I mean, I mean, I guess. <laughs> I mean, just... uh... Oh dear, what can I do? <laughs> How about this? My dungeon that I made. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. It is um, uh, Barak slash uh, Jimothy. Um, I don't want that. I that Barak's name is the first means that he's the top and Jimothy oh my is God. the bottom. Well, this is a mental then. Thank you. So I throw it away. So I'll burn this. So I'll burn it. Wait, I want to burn it. Wait, no, wait, burn it. No, burn it. 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 Burn it
Burn it. Well, okay, wait. What if I keep it and, like, keep it out of, like, view? But I want to read it. I no. want to keep that. No. no. Why can't I'll, be in this? I'll, I'll, okay, I'll, wait. What? Listen, listen. I let you take the money, and then I take this, right? Deal? Money. But... <laughs> nah. What? No. But money. <laughs> Damn you. Uh... I can't accept the money. No, no, burn it. But the money. <laughs> He's thinking really hard about this. Let's just take the money. I'll take the money. Uh, I didn't work, sir. Uh, He's dying on the floor. My head. I can't work. I can't work. Uh, leave me alone. Uh. The money. And it's just the dare bits not John of Leave me It's so What are you trying to do now? <laughs> I wanna make a video edit of that so bad where it's just Albert's face showing up when he's like <laughs> 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 <It's> so funny. <laughs> 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 We gotta get out- wait, guys, we gotta get out of this antechamber! Yeah, we need to go home. Get the fuck out of my face, Arby. Oh, oh, bye. Yes. <sighs> what am I gonna do? Who fucking cares? I'm gonna have to come and see Jimothy. But still, it's been too long since I was last in London, so perhaps I'll enjoy this. Okay, life. fuck off now! Well, uh, let's explore the great exhibition. Oh, this guy's yapping. I'll say it's to do it for me. hits me for my next situation that I will be premiering at a Halloween fest. Oh! Yeah. I can't allow that. You freaking it just. Albert, your art's trash. There, I said it. <laughs> I, oh, Zig, you spit, I brother. thought it was. I thought it was oh quite okay, but first, first, first you... bark outside of the courtroom. You're so handsome. Oh my, I love you, genuine. I love you. Kiss me. Oh well, I don't. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sorry you had to go through that, Albert. Well, if I'm honest, it was terrifying. You were like a great demon behind your bench there in that dog! Oh my god, I skipped his dialogue by accident. <laughs> You're one of the true, true, true friends I have. I couldn't leave it to anybody else to handle the prosecution or the defense. <laughs> yeah? Sorry? Or well, the defense? Did that say that right? Look at that. Praise? Oh, trust me, Nosuke. You see that? Praise from my rival? He loves oh, you, he. man. You're his rival. What? Jesus Christ. He's supposed to hate me. Boy. Always knew that you had my best interest at heart. Don't worry. That was disgusting. I'm not gonna read it like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> well, how about you show me around while I'm here in town? It's been a long time since we left university. We have a lot to catch up on. <laughs> oh, but you're gonna fumble this goth again, sorry. Listen, Albert. In a few days, your acquittal will be made official. When that happens, you must head straight to Dover. I'll accompany you. Huh? It's kind of whiplash reading that fucking clown voice and they're up. I'm not gonna look. I need yeah. to- Yeah. <laughs> From there you'll cross the channel and make your way back to Germany. I've already purchased the tickets. Okay. Wait. Plural? <laughs> tickets? I He's going? <laughs> Memes aside, like seriously. No, but hold on a minute, Barak. What about the Great Exhibition? This is the chance of a lifetime for me. Press this circle by accident. N no, no sightseeing, Albert. Give up the idea. Damn. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to see any warmth of those eyes, Barak. <laughs> Shoot. Um, 
Ryunosuke and Nagahodo. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm way back behind. I was in that buzzing. Um, Red and Zeke's, what's up? Oh. I'm glad you read it, Becky. I trust you. And what's all this about? Oh my god! Uh, Barak looks so good <laughs> So if I hit cross and just I'm looking over at me. Please <laughs> eyelashes. Taco, it's hard. Wait, don't worry, Taco girly. I screenshot him already. And I oh, screenshot him like PS4 yeah, as well. I think so. I understand. You do? Unnecessary precaution. <laughs> My bad. Well, Iris told me that when you met Morgan Seeks at his office some days ago, he asked how Mr. Natsume was doing. He was inquiring about men. Let me see. Yes, that's right. Uh, I remember being surprised at the time and thinking it was nice to ask. The Wait. point is, Mr. Natsume is still alive and well, even though it's been more than six months and now since he stood trial with the Reaper. Prosecutor. Ah, you, you mean the Reaper's influence doesn't switch overseas? My bad, I had to think about where poor, poor Jimothy was. <coughs> Sorry. Those in the Reaper's sights meet their ends days or sometimes months after the acquittal. That's been the pattern up to now. But of course, we know that both Mr. Natsume and Gina were completely innocent. Gina? True. Is he... And perhaps that governs the Reaper's actions. The truly innocent are spared. I don't want to take any chances with a close personal friend. B-b-b-b-rock! Like, the mustache Nipponese, this man should leave the country without delay. That's why I'm packing him off to Germany at once. Ryan. It's I'm behind again. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm I was, I wasn't I wasn't I wasn't, I wasn't that far behind. <laughs> right. <laughs> Does your friend shape package get he saying it? Goodness. What is the well, what is your intention all along with Lord Van Zeeks? Hmm. Oh, screenshot. It's a good act too. In court, people like him think the Reaper. This man seems absolutely merciless, and yet... Sometimes, I feel as though I don't understand him at all. Well, I don't know this man. I love this man him. is towering over you right now, by the way. Yeah, he's 6'4", man, and Rinosuke's like 5'6". Shit. Yeah, you're not... It's over. You're not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, gotta, I, gotta, I, I gotta cheat. You're gonna climb him like a freaking tree. I'm gonna hit him back with a steel oh, chair. Fuck. I'm gonna get Barak Albert's voice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> time to go. Wait, well, for the one time. For the one time. For, well, for just, just once. Just once. It's time to go, Albert. Back to the prison for the time being. <laughs> Well, yes, all right. Well, then, Mr. Neverhood. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything. <laughs> Get the f out of here. Fuck off, Airbrain. <laughs> I'm not an oppressor. I was pleasure getting it. No, it wasn't. I'm not gonna lie to your face. This was miserable exactly. being your being, being your lawyer. <laughs> Taco, that's cute as fuck, actually. <laughs> My God. <sighs> I did read my line. Well, once the dust has settled, you must come and visit me in Germany. No. Hey, well, I mean, if you think about it, you know, current events, past events, I mean, allied states, you know. Anyway, goodbye for now. For that, for that, for that reason too. Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus. No. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was still in that mindset, bro. Now my Nipponese friend. Oh, uh, yeah. I thought you'd gone too. We have I'm not gay, Barak. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Can you spare me some time in any way? You wanna talk with me? I told you I'm not gay. 
What? I'll be waiting in the quad room in ten minutes. Oh, bye! Okay. Wait, right. can you answer me this? Am I topping at least, or...? Oh! Well, hypothetically, if, if I work at it, would I be top or bottom? <laughs> hypothetically, of course! Well, I that was strange. The <laughs> I can't say that, I can't say that. Oh, oh, you got uh, oh. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> For some reason, I didn't get the chance of a painting doom when he's walking away this arm. Uh oh. Looks The Enigma. You... Barak Venzix. What did you what just did say? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. The answer waits in the courtroom, I suppose. Here goes then. Oh, okay. God, this, when Barak was like, meet me in 10 minutes, I was like, oh my god, what are we gonna talk about? 24 <laughs> October, 4.58 p.m., <laughs> the old Billy courtroom. That's almost five. It's like almost five. Oh! What's up, gang? How's it going? Hey, what's up? So, are you satisfied? You saved the guileless scientist from the great injustice. I guess. This guy left his dog in hell by himself. He was probably um, howling all sad. Yes, I think so. I'm relieved at least. <laughs> the man's innocence could be proven. Anyway. Okay, fine. I you. imagine you've been wondering <laughs> where my aunt and the comes from. Who eh? oh boy? Uh, what's up? Well, at first I thought you just didn't like me. I imagine you saw me as a precious child from an unimportant land who just has no bit of being here. I did. What the fuck, man? But now I think differently. You clearly know our ways. So I would guess that some specific incident led you to the dislike of my race. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> will you tell me what happened? Please. All I'm saying is, it was the 1800s. Barack had probably never seen a Japanese person before. <laughs> you're right. No, you're right. Oh. The Professor. <laughs> I thought I'd never hear that name in, a, in this courtroom again, to be honest. My bad. What's happening? What y'all doing? Susan! Susan! <laughs> Dude, hold on. Well, I type. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> what happened, Becky? What? They, they got her. You you have a line. Yeah, I said it. <clears throat> you, you must cut out. Oh. Oh, I yeah. cut out that probably. Uh he he took his brother's life. Clint! <laughs> <laughs> Stop, don't be mean to him. Clint, my brother was <laughs> quick on loose. <laughs> Oh, Taruvi, 16 years ago, when I was still just in my teens, he was already the director of prosecutions and a key member of the judiciary. I looked up to him. Put in it. Crimmit! He was everything I aspired to be. <laughs> oh. There are trauma dumping right now. And, and stop, stop! Stop! Oh, that I suppose I asked. <laughs> he was involved in the establishment of justice systems in foreign countries as well. And we exchanged programs between Britain and other nations then too, to share knowledge and ideas. As part of one of those programs, <laughs> three judicial students came to Britain from your homeland, the Empire <gasps> of Japan. Yeah. Oh? Oh! It, it was 16... Years Point ago, the <laughs> then one of them could have been my father. Of course, I remember Dr. Mikotova well. I had no idea. Gasp. <clears throat> I was a minor at the time. <laughs> minor! I was a <laughs> minor at the time, trading at the prosecutor's office. Tell me, Rumi, I did the math. He was probably like 17, uh, 363 days old. Like, <laughs> he was 17 when that happened. <laughs> <laughs> One day, Clint introduced me to three visiting Nipponese. So, so you that's funny. actually 
Met my father? He and his colleagues were polite and amicable. They were adept at their work and exacting his standards. It was my first encounter with Nipponi's spirit and it made a very great impression upon me. But six years later, that's when it happened. The investigation was going nowhere. There were no suspects, even. Just an ever-growing list of victims. My, my. And in the end, my brother became one of them. The last, in fact, before the case was finally resolved. I'm so sorry, Lord Van Zeeks. Truly. I know how it feels. But worse. <laughs> Looks dead at MD. Prince <laughs> is always ready to put his life on the line for just a second. So he wouldn't have wanted it any other way. He lost his life to the killer, but it was his victory in the end. Me personally, though, it was a great loss. Found myself in a very dark place, indeed. Oh yeah, brother. I, I can Amen tell. to that. Cheers, bro. I can tell. And I finally found out the killer's identity. The reason why no one had been able to catch the man. Do the cease to be such a mystery. Oh, Taco. The killer's on the loose! <laughs> the killer? He'd been hiding in plain sight all the time. In plain sight? Are you aware of political events ten years ago? No. When you were only thirteen years old? <laughs> <laughs> My god. It was a period of extremely sensitive diplomacy between the British and Japanese empires. And the treaty was being forged, I think. Yeah, the fact that he knows that at 13, that's fucking crazy, because I wouldn't know. Correct. The... Everybody! Taco's what? gotta go to the bathroom, and she wants to see the end of the cutscene, alright? <laughs> okay. She wants to see Baroff oh. finish up his speech, so we're gonna have to wait. Oh, um, so in the meantime... Okay, but is this a quick bathroom break or yeah, what? She, she said she. Well, it, it's gonna be quick. All right, folks. We're almost there. Ow. It's almost at the. End. What do you, what do you think about this so far, it's room? <laughs> I think yeah, it's about this. peak. I'm awake now. Uh, peak. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. There was something about the fact. I love how Barak was admitting. Like I. Loved these people essentially. Like I, they were such good friends to me. And then but I got then a racist. Yeah, you see him now, and he uh. he hates you. And then you gotta think like these are the those three guys were the first Japanese people we'd ever seen in his life. Taco's back. Taco's back. <laughs> was you were he, he was also returned. Oh, he was back. It's just in time. Everyone's just in here. time, but the, the all gang's right. all here, folks. Gang's all here. Um, I'll just read that again, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. The Anglo-Japanese Treaty of Friendship and Navigation was being... ...included. Oh my god, I hate it. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> the leaders of both countries are deep in extensive political discussions. Which is why this particular killer's appearance in court was conducted as a closed trial. If the British public had known about the identity of the killer... Wait a second. Not only would the treaty... No. Wait, wait a second. Wait, what's wait, happening? Wait a second, huh? wait a second. This wait, is sounding huh? mad for this is sounding mad familiar. What do you mean? The first case. Closed off, murder, no one's there but important people. The oh. death of a white the death of a white man on Japanese soil. Uh-huh. True. Yeah. But our two nations could have very well ended up at war. Yikes. <laughs> what? A, a, a war? Between Britain and Japan? E gags! But that would mean. Oh my! You mean to say the professor was. Japanese! <gasps> oh! Anyways, uh, muting, sorry! Oh <laughs> Oh, we have to progress together, though. Huh? 
仮面の鍵を借り受けたその目でしかと確かめるがいい My heart's racing <笑>真実<笑> What the hell is this? This is the professor's その通り今まで考えたこともありませんでした英国犯罪史上最悪の事件その殺人鬼の正体が日本人だったなんてま待ってくださいこの面影どこかで見たことがあるそんな気がいたしますI wasn't prepared. I'm crying. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. I'm, re I'm real life crying. <laughs> you know what? No, no, no. Don't it hit so it. hard, bro. Don't force it. Uh, take your time to read. Yeah, take your time. Take your time. Um, I will I let you know that even though I had my suspicions as well. It still, it still hit hard. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. I, I thought I thought I was prepared for this moment. Like, I was like, oh, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna be like, oh boy, Cosmo, and then I just lose my shit and scream my ass off, and now I'm here having a. <laughs> You're not even to the part yet. You just Grimmie. stopped mid. This is oh, why like... they did not make it a big deal when they were yeah at the machine. It was oh, because my... I. Oh. I got it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm good. I'm good. Let's move on. Let's move on. Yeah. Kazuma. <laughs> 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 oh, bro! You gotta keep going! Kazuma! It's been too long! Too long. <sighs> Real talk, bro. I don't think it's ever been a, a game that has got this visceral of a reaction out of me. Like I've I've had my <laughs> moments. I've had my moments in games or, or media in general where I'm like, oh boy, I got I have my ups and downs. But there's never, never been the one that had me like. On oh, the edge of your seat, pretty much. At the edge just... of my seat, it, involuntarily screaming. Like I, I, I'll scream for bits, but that was real, bro. Yeah. Oh. This the the big reveal. Um, that that was his father. I definitely didn't know that was his father, even when I saw his face. But then when he said father, and I'm like, what? 
And then I was like, oh! And then, like, I, I didn't know what to process after that. I'm like, oh, Cosmo, but what the heck's going on? You know? Yeah, yeah, man. Gee whiz. It's, <laughs> it's insane. Like, it's just it's so much. God, it feels like more than a year. <laughs> for real? We have been waiting so long for you to watch this cutscene. Genuinely. Right, right. <laughs> Cause it's he not even like you knew from the start that was causing him. But it was he like, looks so he good. <laughs> his hair. If you've also noticed, his hair got just a bit longer. Yes, his hair grew. Mhm. Mm Which I like the little detail there. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> That's my name. <laughs> Me for real! Me for real! Uh, oh god, brother! Oh god, oh god brother! <laughs> Kazuma! What's good? What's good, champ? Kazuma! Nagai Aida. Gokuro Data. Leo Yu. Watashi no Kari ni Tomo Koko ni Michibi te kreta. Kazuma sama. Yeah, buddy. He stayed on the uh, I knew you wouldn't die easily. Son of a bitch. <laughs> man, oh man. Someone more you are never another. Nani Shiro. So it's all Mamot the Cretano da Carna. Oh. A soggy no yen died. I started. カルマ。僕はサトさんからこの刀を託されたんだ。お前が残したお思いと共に。あ、サトよ。You're so glad this is an actual cutscene. <laughs> yes. Imagine if it was it. I don't think it hit as powerful as it did. Oh, for sure. When I yeah. first played and I saw Barak move, I was like, oh my god. Oh, I was very- I'm like, oh, we're moving? <laughs> <laughs> Something's happening, bro. Yeah. Something's happening. <laughs> oh, Kazuma, you're so cool! Kakui! <laughs> Kakui! Oh, man. You know, it gets real when the music stops, though.
Matao. 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 Asogi Kazuma wa boku tachi o nukoshite. Hote kara dete itta. Let's not forget Bear Awkward. So, uh, I guess he's still here. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, wow. Uh, uh, yeah, he's, Awkward. Were, yeah, so they were, speaking, they were speaking Japanese in front of him, and he's just like, I have no idea what they're saying. <laughs> he had a, I mean, you know what's interesting, though? He does have a an inkling of it, because he knows a slight, that. Yeah, a slight inkling, since, you know, he knows the three yeah. exchange you know, students that came those ten years ago and stuff like I mean, that. Looking so... like the like the, the, the Mexican alien right now. <laughs> oh <laughs> So, he's the living after image of the man who took my brother's life, is he? Yeah. Yes. Um Kazuma Sogi. My best friend. My brother <laughs> <laughs> Three months ago, when Lord Strongheart introduced us, I had an inkling there was something there. Some connection. Why did Lord Strongheart do that? Why did he make Cosmo live as his apprentice? And when was he suffering from, and when he was suffering from amnesia, too? To be honest, I think he thought it'd be funny. <laughs> honestly? I, I, yeah, honestly like, oh, I'm going I, to play games. To be honest, I do the same thing. He was sitting in bed kicking his legs. It'd be so funny if I made like a Mijiari, like Kazuma Sogi, like Barak's apprentice, especially since like his father killed like his brother. His brother? <laughs> oh, the host is gonna love this one. <laughs> He's gonna laugh when he finds out. The man was apprehended, even executed. And his legacy just won't die. That's the sad truth. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Thank you for meeting with me as I asked. Goodbye, beautiful. Goodbye, beautiful. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, it's out. <laughs> Sorry, is he a ghost? Well, <clears throat> ten years ago, my grandmother took me to the railway station. We were there to meet my father from the train. For me, it was the first time I ever seen. Him. Poor Sasada son. Uh, having a deadbeat dad. All oh, this is tied up with faint memories. Yeah. Oh, really and if you talk you know. smack about you, Jimmy Colter, but you're also not gonna get no fucking answers from him. Oh my god. Time to pop around, but just when I was starting to get used to it. He caught him to his study one day. Paco, don't you start. He told me that a great friend of his had passed away in London. Yeah. And that the friend had left behind a son. A boy, seven years my senior. Father told me that the boy had made a promise to uh, his late father. So he was studying to become a defense lawyer. I wanted to help, so... I studied to become a qualified judicial assistant. As I'm sure you've worked out, that young man's name was Kazuma Soki. So you see, that's how he and I met. Oh! Shinyuwa. つかの間僕たちの前に姿を現して再び消えたそしてその瞬間止まっていた時は動き出す巨大な運命の車輪が回り始める奇しむような音を聞いた気がしたそれは確かに何かが始まり何かが終わるきっかけだった And that is the end of Tuesday. We did it. But also, you learned right at the end that Susato and Cosmo 
together because Yuchin literally brought him in. <laughs> he, he took him so, after his father was executed here in London. <laughs> yeah. So Susato and Kazuma pretty much grew up childhood pretty much episodes. Yeah, so that that's where you learn that oh there's siblings and stuff like that kind of thing. And it's just like, well I guess <laughs> Step siblings. So what you say? To a degree, it's who boy. Um. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then of course episode four <sighs> title Twisted Karma and His Last Bow. Oh boy. Oh, 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 oh. oh my gosh. What's gonna oh, no. what's gonna happen to in these two? Oh my man, oh God. man, you, you ain't ready because you don't know what's gonna be thrown at you now because you just feel oh Cosmos back, but then you've learned that ten years ago, Professor Murder stuff, you know, uh, uh Barak's brother died, blah blah blah. Now you learn Cosmos. Can I Can I speak of a uh, theory in existence? Oh, okay, okay. Go ahead. I don't think Cosmo's dad is actually the professor. Why? It's so well, <laughs> well. I'm just curious. It, it's well, I guess Cos. It's Cosma. I feel like mm. the 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 goal he wanted to do that we never found out about. They never told us is that he wants to clear his father's name. Well, I mean, then again, maybe he did do it, but, like, either way, that's, I think that's Cosmo's goal, because he, he, maybe he doesn't believe his father actually did it, and he wants to come clear his name, and he or he wants to find out the actual truth, because he doesn't believe his father could do it, but, stuff like that, but, I don't know, <coughs> now, now, now that I see the connection to the professor, and mm. Cosmo's, as being Cosmo's father, I, just knowing what I know about Cosmo already, of course, you know I'm going to find out more. About, I'm going to find out more about Cosmo in the coming two episodes. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. But just from what I know of Cosmo, from the beginning until this, the reveal of him re of reuniting with him officially, I just yeah, I, I feel like that's that's probably what Cosmo. Yeah, even like he's like. A, He's like, I'm finally here, and then he, the whole, he records his father, he's finally here, he's like, oh, he's like, you knew all, you knew this whole time, Cosmo, so... I feel like that's why Cosmo wanted to come. Right. I see what you mean. I get that. Hmm. That's a pretty interesting take, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, oh, boy, that's... Just... But, Wait, uh, you your that theory, that yeah, your happen. theory here is just, like... Going into the next chapters, it's just yeah. like, it's going, it's going to be wild. It's going to be a ride. You got two more now. But, whew, good oh place to... Oh my god. Yeah, that's oh. a good place to leave it off. literally what I did. Because I, I, I got done with that cutscene, I was, I was emotional, dying inside, tears in my eyes. That cutscene always hits. It, I, I, it, it, it can't not hit. Actual people that, get, people that didn't get affected by that Cosma, I think, uh... Seek help. Seek help? Seek help. Seek help. Seek help. Oh, he's he Cosma! <laughs> there he is. He went oh, to go see Cosma. Headbandless. Where's the headbandless yeah, head Cosma? Mm -hmm. Hey, Becky. Oh! How much money? Wait, what? <laughs> How much money do I have to pay you? For what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Why the what? Wait, what's happening? I... I... I Wait, need... What? I need you peak... Need? I need peak art. I name your price, I'll pay you whatever. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, Terumi, don't worry, I got you! Hold up! I'll Give me you, a second! I'll pay you, I'll pay you, I'll pay you whatever. <laughs> Wait, he wants my art. Okay. <laughs> okay, but hold on. There's one I've been really wanting okay, to show. Okay, but now we can now we can send you some art. Since you see it in oh it my is gosh. Out, outfit. So, you know. Alright, hit him with that art on me. 
Pay the price. I don't know what you want. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> it's like I just want house, but. <sighs> okay, where is she? Not see you like I felt it coming also, like, sort of. And <laughs> it's it just. I, I, I genuinely, I genuinely thought I was like prepared. I was like, "Oh shit, Kazuma! Hey, buddy!" I, or, or I would play, or I would have played it up for the bit, you know. That was not it's, a bit. It's pretty crazy to be like, I saw it coming, therefore I shouldn't care about this. Right? Wild mentality to have, but like, it's like, oh my oh, god, I, 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 I saw, I saw it coming. I, I did. I was like, "Oh, we're got, he's Kazuma real coming right around the corner," and, and I was like. So prepared. I I I I was I was hyping myself up for it. By the way, like for days, <laughs> for like really, ever since last stream ended, I was like, okay, you you you're, you're you're gonna be you're gonna be cool, calm for the for the reveal. You're gonna play it for the bit a little bit, have a little jokes, say some little jokes, some dumb shit, get some laughs out of here. But I it was just so visceral. It was just it was just my reaction was so genuine and real. I, I I couldn't script that. <laughs> I don't think I could script that. <laughs> like I didn't mean to scream. I swear to God, I didn't. The, the scream. I did not mean to scream. I did not want to scream. It just, it just came out. And it, it, the scream just came out involuntarily. I I, I just I, my soul left my body. <laughs> that cloak came off, bro. And I was like, I saw I saw the bowl. And I, was, I saw the, I saw his cut. And I was like, oh, it's. There's, there's my boy, my brother. He's back. It's him. It, it's, it's, yeah. it's him. He's finally back, and I've, I've, I've been waiting. I, I, I wonder though. I wonder if I played it up for the bit. If I, if I didn't play it up for the bit in the first game, but oh, Cosmos, Cosmos gonna come back eventually. <laughs> Cosmos coming back eventually. I, I wonder how I would have felt now if I just like accepted it immediately and like didn't go for the whole bit of him, of him coming back. But. Either way, my 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 reaction was still I, I like to say incredible. I, I feel like my reaction was incredible and like like uh, oh my gosh, I like yeah. it's just it's it's so good. I I, I feel like it's, it's it, like my reaction is a testament to the writing of the game because yeah, because it's like it really makes you feel like it feels like yeah. I, I I think I said this uh <laughs> way in the earlier streams that. Even though Cosmo was there for the first uh, case, the first game, and he's gone to the next, it felt like you knew him a lot longer. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, it felt like, it felt like even mm -hmm. though it was only for one case, it, like it just it just felt like Cosmo's always been there, you know. It felt like you were Ryunosuke, and it just feels like you guys have known each other forever. And then, and, and then, he, 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 and then his, his impact on the the, the entire. Serious. It, 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 up until now, he's always had a presence, even though he wasn't there. And it's, and, and then just for the whole reveal to come now, just like all that, all that impact just comes blowing up at once. And then, and there's more. There's there's still more to go. Yeah, there's still more. <laughs> You're still not done. There's still more to go. And this is just. It's, and it's the, the rea oh man, the reaction, the Ryunosuke's reaction. The way Ryunosuke looked at him when he was like, "Welcome back, my friend." You know, it I'm was so like, real, bro. Jesus Christ, <laughs> that it shit was so hurted. Oh my god, that was amazing. It was a very that. That's why I'm like, I am so glad that was like a genuine cutscene, and it wasn't like them doing like like you know like when Susato came back. Or it was just she was just there, mm -hmm. and I mean it doesn't downplay her impact at all. Oh yeah, not, 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 not at all. Kazuma came back. And you actually got to see the reactions from both Kazuma, uh, not uh, from Ryosunosuke and Susato, mm -hmm. and I, I just loved how they were able to show that, like you know Susato crying, tearing up, Ryosunosuke holding his emotions back, and then fondly handing him Kazuma. It was so good. It was so good. It was cutscene. so good. Such a good cutscene. Oh my god, I am so glad we did this tonight. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> me and Becky me. and Taco were like, we 
Tawumi's gotta watch this cutscene soon, man. Oh man, we I, this is gonna stick with me forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh gee whiz this is gonna stick with me forever I don't think I don't there's never gonna be another Cosmo bro <laughs> that's what I'm saying I don't saying. think uh, they can make her replace that guy people compare Cosmo uh, with Mia and I'm like he didn't nothing Cos nothing Mia did hit me as hard as Cosmo coming back <laughs> honestly <laughs> like and the thing is I yeah. like Mia I love Mia. She was cool. It's just, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm still on the first game. I'm, I'm, I'm planning on streaming the first game again with, with you today, and finish case. I you were on case. Get some sleepies. We're on case three, right? Y'all, yeah. I'm, I'm getting sleepy first. I'll get some sleepy in first, and then I'll come back and stream again for some uh, case number three. I think we're on case three. Uh, and I'll finish that. But oh, man, case three's kind of mid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it, huh? It is. <laughs> like case, case one and two were really good, but then again, we get to case three, and it's pretty damn mid, um, and it's long. <laughs> like it's it's like long mid. So it just drags. I just wanted to be over, but uh, I'm still enjoying the game. Don't, don't get me wrong. <laughs> don't, don't get me wrong. I'm still enjoying the first turn the game. It's still fun. I got. I, I love Maya. I love. I love Phoenix, et cetera, et cetera. I love the side characters. It's 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 a fun game overall. I just think. You know, this one just hit the guy. Uh, I, I, I know you didn't want me to start with Ace the Great Attorney because it's the, it's considered the best in the series, which I can see, um, I can feel, etc., etc. But I'm glad I did. I'm really glad I did. Because I mean, regardless, I would have I would have got here eventually. Even if I hated the, the trilogy, Ace the trilogy, I still would have I still would have came here. And but like, I'm really glad I started with this first because it just really just sets sets it all in for me I guess you know it just yeah. really just like I, I I just I love these characters I, I even even the characters who I talk shit about you know they're I'm glad they're here you know cuz like it, it's it, it wouldn't it wouldn't be the same without them you know it wouldn't be as fun without them like, I, I give Sholmes a hell of a hard time you guys know this one I, I, oh yeah <laughs> no, <kidding>. oh, <laughs> wow. I give Sholmes yeah, a hell of a hard time Time. But, but I love Sholmes. I'm, I'm, I'm like tra full transparency. I fucking love Sholmes. Like I, I'm always, I'm always gonna give him a hard time. I'm always gonna, I'm always gonna like, shit talk him. But like, I'm, I'm, but like he's great. Sholmes is great. He's, he's the way he plays off everyone is fantastic. And the way he, him just being a silly goofy guy is also all right. Just now, now we amazing. get to see like. You get to ask him about why did you why did you tell us about Gamba? What happened? What happened? I can really ask him about what happened. And I'm very, I'm very, I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm very excited to see let's uncover the whole mystery now, because there's so many questions that aren't have been answered, and that, yeah. and then it's just, oh my god, I, this, this, it's, we it's, learned, it's just we amazing. Now learn, yeah, we now learn that Eugen was in Great Britain at some point, but he never mentions it ever. So now it's like, hmm. Yeah, this is, this I think is the only time amazing. it gets mentioned is when he's like, I knew uh, Wilson. And I think that's like literally the only time that's alluded to like, he yeah. was here before. Other than that, like, I don't... Taco dead ass. Like, like I, I'm, I'm wide awake now. All that, all that drowsiness <laughs> and passing out from earlier is gone. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's so funny. I, I, I am in my, I am up. My energy now. I'm <laughs> wide awake right now. That, that, that reinvigorated me. <laughs> the OST, the Cosmo reveal. Oh my God, I am I am energized. Just a crash in five minutes, but still. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this fucking game, bro. And it's gonna be so sad when it's finally over. But I'm oh, still I gonna love the experience. I finished this game. I sat there, I cried. I was like, damn, my friends, <laughs> my parents, my friends. So friends. <laughs> uh, the, the last dude. game. <laughs> that I played that had me like, what do I do now? With Persona 5 Royal. Like, I finished that game and I kind of just laid down and I was like, what do I do now? Oh, I, thought, I thought it was going to be so much worse <laughs> this game. That's <laughs> why I had Becky play it immediately after I was done. Is I was like, I'm not, I'm not finished. <laughs> I'm not finished with you yet. <laughs> oh, no, you, it's, uh, GAA is, is for tonight, for today, is, it's, it's over. We, it's, it's, 
738. I, 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 promise, I promise you anyway. Um, but yeah, uh, but yeah. Either way, I'm gonna. Oh boy, I just I could ramble forever. <laughs> For real. I could ramble I, forever about yeah. this shit. It was. Oh my so... god, we when I did this cutscene, I think I finished the case, oh, yeah. and then um, it was like 10 a.m. Gee, man. I. I was determined to get through it. I was so excited to like finally like oh my god, you know, like you know, what's gonna happen? I need to figure out what happens at the end of two three because Abby kept stressing, like, you'll love two three's ending. You'll love it. You'll love it. And I'm just like, ha oh. But okay, so I powered through and then by ten AM I realized I had been awake all night. I used to figure it out. I was so excited. I, I, oh, like, honestly, like, it's just, actual, actual peak, bro, and, I, 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 I just can't help but wonder, will there be another, to, like, it, 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 in general, to just be, like, utter peak, like this? Wait, question, ah, uh? did I not send that art? Which one? Oh no, I see it. Never mind. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm. I'm glad you you enjoyed it. Be be me, Vecchi, and Taco were all like, when Tuumi finishes two three, he's gonna lose his mind at that cutscene. I did. Cause it's like I told you, there was a huge reason why Kazuma, as the Master Prince, was just introduced casually in front of that damn machine. Or she's just like, is that Kazuma? And then you're like, it was kind of underwhelming. It's and that's why Susato... That's why. <laughs> that's why Susato knew it was Kazuma, because she literally grew up with him. But you don't find that out till the end of this case. She literally admits to it. She's just like, that guy, the boy, was Kazuma. And then it ends there, and then Ryodosuke's got a little biologue, and then it's just like, what will happen next? It's like, oh my like, god. What? The infant up is uh, crazy. <laughs> that guy, I know him. <laughs> that guy, I know him. <laughs> oh, I know that. I know that guy. No, We're like this. Like, what? A few weeks or so to start two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We're able to end two three because I was yeah. like, if we don't get to finish two three tonight, I I fear to move on. I, 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 would, I would have died, bro. Cause like, what, I, what I have to, and then I had to like keep not retweeting spoilers on my main. I would retweet something, I'm like, oh god, this isn't my side account. <laughs> I'm barely off Twitter these days anyway. Oh, but oh, brother. Ah, oh, well, I I don't want to keep you guys any longer than I have to. So that's. It's all good, man. And oh, tra cool. as tradition stands. We end off with the jingle. Hey, El jingle. Ahem. All right, folks. It has been damn amazing. It's been fun. Wait, before I go, uh, Drebber and Ashley, top two characters. By the way, top two, top two. Hey! Oh yes. Drebber and Ashley mentioned. That's nice. <laughs> We love Ashley. Miss him. Top, love those I guys. So Top much. two. Two, <laughs> two of Trevor. my favorite characters that aren't the main characters. <laughs> nice. right, but, so good. <clears throat> it has been amazing. Fun and experience. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, just, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> all around jolly good time. And here we go. Bye bye. Bye. I'll see you guys next time.